can remember, can remember Back in the days we played Street Fighter in arcades all day People shooting up in the Burger King parking lot And T was still alive It was Quero It was the 90s I tried to work some 9 to 5 jobs Always did double work and got fired cold turkey I said let me play around with my camera I will try to become a successful YouTuber I sway to the left, I sway to the right Hold hands with Panda Lee and drink gin every night On a never-ending mission to become a popular gamer Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Someone who can watch me and click on the ads So I get money back for this Is there anybody out there? Fifteen years later my audience has vanished and I'm begging all day It's all Tevin's fault I'm getting to thinking that mommy was right all along I should have stuck to my 10 year plan But now it's too late and I have big birds coming up So anything's appreciated a membership to Super Chat or Patreon pledge I sway to the left, I sway to the right I get laid by my wife and pull Hogan's all night On a never-ending mission to find somebody to take me Is there any big whale out there? Is there any big whale out there? Someone who can swing by and show some support The stream has been going slow Is there any big whale out there?
What's up, Straffer? We're here. It is time for your weekly dive into Ask the King from many, many years ago. I'm joined here again, as always, by Atlas the Bookkeeper. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. It is nice to have you with us here today. Hope you're enjoying the birthday fun that I have seen not one single second of. How about you? I fell asleep. That's how it was going. Oh. I woke up to schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So I heard he's getting a lot of money. He'll be in his usual. He did. He's his usual, um, you know, money buff and stuff. So who gives a shit? Uh, I'll watch highlights for that. I stick to highlights for that kind of stuff, if you know what I'm saying. How about you, Atlas? Yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> uh, usually I try and watch Raw, but lately I've been falling asleep on the Saturday afternoon. So uh -huh. it's so. what it is. We shall, nonetheless, I don't think he'll probably, when we finish the Ask the King, I doubt he'll be streaming, so I do have a fun video planned for us, not too long. Uh, how up are you, Atlas, on your tea lore? And I don't mean oh, uh, I the uh, British style variety. Well, I know that he was uh, murdered by somebody that we know, but other uh, than yes. that. Okay, so you'll be perfect for this, because somebody sent me a great video, Cerulean86, uh, check out my skeletons, bitch, uh, by the way. That's Cerulean86. Same exact person. Uh, actually, yep, Cerulean. No, I lied. I just lied. Cerulean, this was not a Cerulean submission. How could you, <laughs> ALT? Because Cerulean submission sends a lot of cool stuff, too. But this was actually not a Cerulean submission. This was from someone known as Astronus. Legendary Astronus sent me this great uh, clip. So we shall watch that after. Uh, it's not right. too long. Thank but you for re Big your ups to, anyways, to Cerulean86. In, in any case, and Astronus for the submissions. Uh, I do want to say big ups to Adelaide Insane. It says, can I get a WBIG shout out for my mate Dave, who's celebrating his 42nd birthday today in his mature household with his family cat and Jasper Kitty? Well, shout outs to you, birthday oh, boy. Big ups. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hope you're spending it with your loved ones and friends. That's what I really hope. Uh, so, as you can see, I have a silly I have a silly screen cap up now because I don't want to spoil our b beautiful poll. And our poll today was, is the bag still there? Is the bag still there was the poll. And Atlas, I'm going to get your prediction first here. Is the bag still there? Yes or no? Come on. I'm praying for my boy. I hope uh, the answer is yes. I hope he's still there, surviving and thriving. All right. I will click the next video, and you will all will be revealed. Let's go. Here we go. Last chance to get your votes in. 88% said yes. 12% no. We are talking. Okay, Pendant said ass, so that will give me a great chance to stall. There was <laughs> there was a bag that was shown on screen from Target nine months ago now, and it was there. And throughout the changing of the months, throughout the changing of the seasons, throughout the rising and falling of the tides, the ball the, the bag has stayed in what that location, sir. And now we are entering our tenth month. Will the bag remain? Will the bag remain? That's what we're doing I here. I think bag is forever. <laughs> Me personally? <laughs> Hopefully I hyped you up enough because let's go. Is the bag there? All will be answered in literally one second after I hold on. I forgot. I actually have to uh, um, not show you the video because I have to get it back to the beginning so it's not spoiled right away. All right. Oh, I love that. So you can't see it. And now you're back to seeing it. Here we go. Is the bag still there or not? Let's find out after the fuck you motherfucker or whatever. Male motherfucker comes in. Male motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Machinima oh, yeah, the Machinima logo. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. No, oh, don't do that. It was spoil style. <laughs> Nobody look. <laughs> What's that? Spoil like shit. God damn it. And male there's male motherfucker. Go. What's going on, yeah. everyone? Yeah. Yeah. We got there, but bag boys. <laughs> the bag has been attained. The bag is there. Target and all its glory is still there. We still have the flask as well. We have both the lint rollers. All the boys are out to play today. So I hope you're excited about that. <laughs> Pull I'm bag gang for life. That's the way it's got to be, man. <laughs> always, always yes, bag. That means the bag, the bag streak continues, and next week we get the same exact fucking game. So get ready for that. All right, let's go. Ask the King, episode twenty-three. We are in April twenty-sixth of two thousand and twelve. What 
what uh, amazement will awaits us here today. Let's go. Welcome to episode 23 oh. of Ask the King, the series where I answer your forum Agree. and Twitter questions. Agree. We definitely need... Um, well, I'll get the bag emoji ready. I, we definitely need a bag emoji. Absolutely. Just pounding the bag. Every time there's a bag on screen, we can just pound it. I will definitely get that going. If you would like to submit a question for the next episode... Oh, of by the way, real quick. Sorry. I'm sorry to business style, failing business style announcements. Tomorrow, okay. my friends, is the 100th episode of That Being Said. And I promise you, I promise you, you don't want to miss it. I'm not going to spoil anything other than that. I'm not going to take any questions. I'm not going to say anything else. But I promise you, motherfuckers, you don't want to miss this one. That's all I'm going to say. I can't hype it up anymore. I know that sucks. But I can't spoil it. I can't spoil it. <laughs> I've been tasked to not spoil this. And it really sucks, but I can't spoil it. But I promise you, you'll see it tomorrow. And it's going to be hype, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get out of here. All right. I'm this intrigued. Is... I'll be there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it, I promise. I promise. This is not... I'm not uh, clickbaiting you here. I promise you want to be there. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ask the King, you can go to my forums at thekingofhate.com. And in there, there is a whole section for Ask the King okay, where you great. can submit your questions. I already have a... Oh, Jasper the Cat. First wow. theory, theory is raisin and cinnamon were buried in this very same bag. Ooh, bag lore. I'm down with all bag lore. That, that would be a stretch, but I'll, I'm on board so far. Thread up for next month. <laughs> well, if you're gonna have to bury your pets, you want to do it with something you care about, like the Target bag. Oh yeah, saying bye to three friends at one time. The Target bag. But and you know the names. bag will keep them safe. A, a long time friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big ups, Adrian. First time viewing live. Big ups. First time caller, long time viewer. May. And also, you can follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP. Okay. And the day that I actually film the episode, I actually post up on there that okay. I'm accepting Thanks. Twitter Keep questions. Posting up. I take some of the best ones to answer. I love when he posts. Up. So uh -huh. uh, today is April 26, 2012. And uh, let's get started. And as a preface, before we even start uh -oh. the episode, I will have an update nice. for everyone. Ooh. Um, Due to a lot of different factors, okay. one of which being actually fan requests, I have finally set up an official Facebook page. Okay? Ooh, Facebook now, hype! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> that's where they got the. That's where they they've grown so much thanks to DSP. You're getting a Facebook page hype. Better get on that. What I did is I set up a Facebook account and also a Facebook. You know how many fan... people he drove to Facebook to make an account, dude? Uh -huh. He's quite hot popular. Is it still? Oh, I don't even. I don't have a Facebook account anymore because. Why do you want, want want that? But let's see if I can still find it. Dark Side Phil Facebook account. Oh, I was gonna say it. I don't even think I could log into mine anymore. So there's a troll one there. <laughs> I found the troll one. Uh, DSP. Well, let's let him tell us what the name is. Page. I'm not sure which is better. I'm not sure what's what. They're basically linked, so whatever I put on one is gonna show up on the other anyway. Um, if you want to check them out, my official imagine Facebook that he's confused already. Facebook.com backslash they call me dsp oh they call me dsp and then the facebook fan page oh is classic Facebook .com down from the raft they call, uh, me, they call me dsp <laughs> so you can check out either one i believe that if you like the fan page it's like almost like <laughs> following me on twitter or on youtube oh if you subscribe to the account oh. that means that you're going to get all my updates and things that way as well oh god there's um, so many fake ones you can if you want send me a friend request Personally, couldn't imagine right why now, i am accepting all <laughs> friend requests but i heard that there's a cap of like four thousand on facebook and so i have no doubt that over the next couple of weeks i'm sure that's going to max out oh definitely um, gonna and max therefore out. i don't I'm not sure if a gotta max our friends list to do. <laughs> the account the is going to be for business purposes just like my twitter oh, account business, for purposes, business purposes yes that's what the facebook account is going to be for it's not going to be I hate yeah, that the Twitter is for life. business purposes now. It was so much more fun when it was for personal uh, use. Why, I don't want to know why this got the business point, got this got the fucking business style, but the Twitter didn't. What the hell? <laughs> Friends or anything like that. It's just for YouTube business purposes. Uh, so I know a lot of people have complained over yes, the past couple of years I that have. Oh, Phil uses Twitter, but I hate Twitter. I refuse to use Twitter, but I have a Facebook. Why doesn't he do it? I finally created it. This is going to be your source for seeing, you know, every day I'll listen to your feedback. Video. I made it yeah, a yeah, Facebook yeah. page. That's yep. what this page is for. So there'll be no more confusion. You won't have to go watch. Is this fan page real? Is this really DSP's page? Is this guy update this fan page on this and that? You don't have to worry about those pages anymore. Okay, I know your search history, your, your search history really controls your Google results. But I searched yes. for, they call me DSP on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, the 10th, the 10th result for me is... <laughs> 
is uh, Scopely. <laughs> WWE <laughs> champions. Because <laughs> I searched for that so many times, I guess. Classic. <laughs> okay, I made my own. That's the only one you have to follow. So I just wanted to get that out in the open. People have asked me previously, even on Ask the King, will I ever have a Facebook page? I finally just had to cave and say, all right, here we go. It's in the had to cave. It wasn't it a decision so we wanted to make. We had to cave in. Uh -huh. Just like Outlivers. Future videos. I'm actually probably going to do a channel update soon about it exclusively. So just okay, so you know, yeah. you're the first people to hear about it. Oh, great. The people who are following me on Twitter, okay? Get oh, fucked, Twitter followers. This is insider knowledge, dude. <laughs> so, I feel Without privileged. Ado, let's get into it. Oh, You're going to notice that quick this audit? Week, there's a lot of questions that are oh. common questions, meaning many people ask the same question. Oh. And so I just, I'm just going to say, this was a common question. Here's my answer. Right? Are they good or bad? We didn't get that kind of. Remember, we always get the rundown of if yeah, they're good or yeah. bad. <laughs> I heard there was a lot. That yeah. was our qualifier today. There's a lot of them. There's but. a lot, and they're common. <laughs> are they good or bad? What's going on? Say, These seven particular people ask this question. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Sam. Big sip. Oh, yeah. All a couple right, so little smacks in there. A little dainty smacks. <laughs> hey, Phil, there have okay. been all these movie remakes of uh, already existing movies that were made by Hollywood. Uh -oh. Many of the fans have been pretty much going, you know, what the fuck? Can't you find some originality in what you put out? Uh, and I'm curious how you're exactly what they of said. all these remakes. <laughs> One example would be the A Team. And that's from Alexander Nikolovich Hell. All right, and uh, here's the. A team, a team fan or not? <laughs> no, he might even talk about A team. I, I bet Philip would like A team though. I bet that's up his alley. The original. Yeah, that does seem up his alley. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He doesn't care for the remake remaster style, but he likes the original. Yeah, yeah. A team. <laughs> Remakes are always going to exist. There's remakes reimagined great take you know what i mean um <laughs> so... classic plots all oh yeah the time. he would love I mean, mr t <laughs> about dracula about frankenstein about the <laughs> that's got to be his favorite mr t hell you <laughs> how many times have we seen very similar themes in movies Ooh. for example dances with wolves versus oh he would love dance with wolves of course he would love that just get to see uh that's brad pitt right or no no T tom cruise who is Dances with Wolves? I was going to say, I've never seen it. I don't know. This is I wasn't Dances born. Dances with Wolves. <laughs> this is new to me. Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Costner. That's what I meant. There you we get go. to watch Kevin it. Costner being hot. I love that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what the interim one was. I can't remember. Very hot. Avatar. The whole time. Avatar is Dances with Wolves. It's the same movie. Oh. Like, if you actually watch well, like Dancing with Bears. Am notice. I right or am I right? <laughs> yes, that's true. Beat you to it. Uh, so... Avatar is Dances with Wolves. Finkel is Einhorn. Dance with Wolves is Avatar. Big up. I haven't seen this before, and you realize it's the same fucking plot. They just rewrite it with a different setting and different circumstances. New characters, the same new story. dialogue. It's crazy, but the same exact thing. Story. So <laughs> there's Dancing that with kind wolves. of remake. But then there's also direct remake. So Ooh. we're talking about... All right. Hold um, on. What's this? Like he mentions, the A-Team. There was a TV series called the A-Team. All of a sudden, now they make it into a movie 100 years later. Why oh. did they do that? My perfect example here would be Spider-Man. They just made a trilogy of Spider-Man movies not even a decade ago. Uh -oh. And now they're re redoing Spider-Man. And you gotta say, all right, enough is enough. At what point do you put your foot down and say, I'm not fucking gonna go shut up. <laughs> enough is enough. Funny. <laughs> Too many RPGs. Too Putting many my foot down. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> For the same fucking movie. And yeah, of Too many Spider-Man Spider movies, dude. I'm putting my foot down. They don't work for the channel. Uh -huh. Antagonist. And it's a story of him uh, as a teenager growing up. But it's the same fucking character. Uh. And how many times can you rewrite the same fucking story okay. just to make a buck? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So I understand where his. You knew where to get there. You know, it's all about the money in the end. You know, we'll get to that point. And this has got yeah. more more Blu-rays than the old. Everybody thing. but him. <laughs> yeah. And how many Blu-rays does this dude buy in? More than ninety-nine percent of the population on Earth. He's buying, of course. Frustration is coming from. <laughs> Um, at the same time, I think that remakes are an important way to take classic stories and refresh them, reinvigorate them, present them to a new <laughs> audience. So is it good or bad? What? <laughs> okay. Now he's talking positively. Here we go. It's kind of being around the bush a lot. Yeah. Are we liking this or not liking this? Let's be honest. If they remake Dances with Wolves today, I don't think it would appeal to the mainstream audience. But when you remake it as Avatar with aliens and it's in space, it's okay. futuristic. Okay. All of a sudden, everyone thinks it's the best movie ever and it ends up being the highest grossing movie ever made at that time. So, I can understand having these themes coming okay. back and, and, and so wanting to rejuvenate classic stories on the, fence the right now. formula and such. Okay. Um, 
Personally, in my personal opinion, I think it's getting played. Personally, out. in my personal opinion, there okay. There really has been a, a stagnance. Uh, Ooh, stagnance. Is that a word? Stagnance. Hold on here. I'm going to check this one. Stagnance. I thought it's stagnation. But stagnance is not a word. It's, it's how do you spell that? Stag. How do you spell that atlas? Sir Atlas. I'm uh, sorry. I my shit cut out. What? Huh? I, <laughs> <laughs> there is no stagnance, right? <laughs> I think hey, listen. That there really has been a, a stagnance. Uh, stagnance is not a word. I, I'm I'm calling it here. Stagnate is a word, but not stagnance. Yeah. <laughs> stagnance. <laughs> Stagnance? Is that even a word? Oh, there we go. Stagnation, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> there we go. I we got there pause. in the end. Yeah, I shouldn't Let him cook, ALT. Uh, Come on. Uh, my is... is that even a word? Uh, my stagnation, that's the word I'm looking for. A stagnation in Stagnance. Hollywood especially, there's just no originality. No, no one's been Stagdance. able to write an epic story that has translated well into a movie. Uh, oh, definitely. Or that hooked the, uh, the interest Nobody of the audience that. to the point where it was a success, really at least in recent now. years. You see a lot of... Really cheesy romantic comedies, really crappy, raunchy, stupid comedies that no one really cares about. They laugh once and you never see the fucking movie again. And then you've got... Okay, I wonder what he's talking about there. Could you name names? What are you talking about? Like Wedding Crashers? Like raunchy comedy? Oh, no, comedy? we can't. We'll say we can't name names. <laughs> What's that? Raunchy comedy. These... Like what? Like South Park? You laugh your fucking head off at? Remember? What are, you, what are we talking about here? You know, again, re-releases, remakes of movies that are just abundant. And of course, you're always going to have your typical uh, action, you know, fighting blockbuster with lots of explosions. I think men love to go see those kind of movies, but... <laughs> yeah, men love really... that shit. That's what they live for, dude. Men love that. No <laughs> girls are allowed to like those movies. <laughs> men love that, dude. There's originality. Where, why aren't there a, a whole new slew of movies, a whole new slew of characters? He, has, he knows what boys like, success. okay? Uh, he does know what men like we're not seeing that what we're seeing is people saying fuck it ain't working go back to these characters from 20 years ago that people liked back then maybe they'll still remember them for some nostalgic factor and they'll go see the movie yes so i completely agree with what he's saying okay um, um at the same time i don't think it's ever going to go away i think it's a proven money maker for hollywood oh, to do a remake or do a re-release how do we feel about it, it i know uh, reimagining of these classic plot lines it is a way to present them to a new audience so it kind of is a double-edged sword Okay, double edged sword. The double edged sword. All right, now we're gonna go through oh. the common question. <laughs> what? We can't do that. So no. So there's good and bad points. Get fucked. <laughs> all right. Things that a lot of people. We fence sit everything I know. all the time. Can't ever pick a side. Fence sitting in 2016, 2012 on a question about movie remakes. Wow, that's a real, okay. really good question to fence in on. And the first one, oddly enough, is people asking me my political views, people asking me oh. my religious views. Oh, that's so, so strange. People directly asking you, who are you going to vote for in the Connecticut political primaries? Yeah. Some people were like, oh, what kind of, what's your religion? Why don't you ever talk about religion in your videos? <laughs> yeah. And what are your religious beliefs, all right? These are the kind of things I'm very rarely, if ever, going to touch upon. And the reason is it has absolutely nothing to do with the reason why I'm on YouTube. It really has nothing to do with the content of my videos. My right. videos are primarily gaming-based, okay? Video games. Oh. So if you see a political issue related to video games, such as the SOPA and PIPA bills Oh, last mama. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Last year that we're threatening to shut down video gaming uh, No, you're going to need a SOPA and PIPA Completely. counter, too. That's what That's oh, gonna... no. And you'll see me speak <laughs> out about stuff. But I'm not the kind of person who <clears throat> is trying to use YouTube as a soapbox oh. for every issue where I'm going to stand stand up and say, I think this about this, and I think that about that, and this is right, and yes. that is right. In no way, shape, or form do I feel like my opinion is more important than anyone else's, oh. and I don't think that I should use YouTube if as only a way to say, this way. is my opinion, yeah. you should agree with me because I'm right. I'm not that kind of person, and it's unfortunate because you do see a lot of lawmakers, a lot of religious leaders who take that stance. Ooh. We're right, you're wrong, if you disagree, well, you're Scathing evil, commentary. you're wrong, bad. I think it's a horrible attitude to take in life, and that you should always have an open mind and consider all possibilities and everyone's perspective. Oh yeah, perspective. open minded DSP, so, a classic. Uh -huh. For me, that's why everybody I'm not loves him. Sit here and say, "Oh, I'm voting for this guy," or "Oh, this is my religious oh. belief on this." That's not what I'm here for. I don't want to misconstrue anything that I say to be misconstrued or even to influence someone. I think you should have your own opinions, and you should find the time to be informed about these issues yourself and make okay. your own judgments. I don't want 
the fact that I'm here on YouTube and you watch my content to be an influence on you because I don't think that would be fair, especially since that's not what I'm aiming to Just let to me do know well. what you think so I can ban you for the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, my Come up with your own opinion right. so yeah. I can ban it. Yeah. If so. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. I'm not going to talk about political or religious issues okay. unless it's something pertinent to gaming. Okay? <clears throat> I didn't count that as a question, by the way. Cause what? The next question. A lot of people have been asking me, and so I'm just checking a lot for of time, people. by the way, because I don't okay. have a timer on here. A lot of people have been asking me, Phil, are you going to do a condo tour anytime soon? Yes, we want you those. Do a tour of your condo, yes. showing us Please. the models and things that you have, yeah, any kind of improvements or whatever. I need the model video. <laughs> Give me the models. Um, and actually, a couple of weeks back, Ooh. I mentioned that I had to get a new car because my previous car had to. It crapped the bed. It was poor. Is this BM? I, I think that's BMW. The first BMW. I think you're talking about I, that. I think point. so. Yeah. That seems like the uh, the time period. The first BMW. I say first because there was a second BMW. That's not as uh, not as known about. <laughs> Because fictitious. If you make fun of any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking, you're a fucking loser. loser. If you do, if you do talk about any stream chatter, but uh, can we f like the stream for discoverability purposes? Yes, please. That does help for discoverability purposes. <clears throat> and you got the pecs. I don't, even, cool. <laughs> I don't even know why you would uh, watch a stream if you don't like it. That doesn't you, make any it's, sense. To it's me. really weird. You know, it's really weird. But yes, all right. The first BMW hype. Everywhere the window was was gone. I had no window on my pass or my passenger side. Oh, the nice. Thing was falling apart. It was on slash yeah, so super I had safe. To run <laughs> to a dealership and get a car within one day and two hours I got a new car I closed the deal how crazy is that so people are asking me can we see your new car I, I got suckered into this car quick as hell dude you wouldn't yeah. believe it was lightning fast yeah I went to the BMW dealer and said give me one <laughs> that's what we did <laughs> and he made me sign all of the paperwork I didn't read it was yeah, so yeah. fast <laughs> just recently just yes. last week I put out a video that was a channel update regarding a YouTube bug and what oh. it was is I discovered that YouTube views, and this is still the case. Wait, did I skip? What? Hold on. How crazy is that? And I, car with yeah. people are asking me, can we see your new car? Yeah. Here's the thing. Okay. Just recently, just okay. last week. We didn't skip. All right. I put out a video yeah. that was a channel update regarding a YouTube bug. And what it was is I discovered that YouTube views, and this is still the case, YouTube views are delayed, meaning they're not updating properly. Some videos are seem to be locked. What, Some what? videos for as long as two days. What, what, excuse me, sir. We're talking about a car. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't. I don't really know how this got anywhere. You're talking about uh -huh. views now. Proper views reflected on the video. If you use tools like YouTube Analytics, which is my personal tool to see how my videos are performing. <laughs> on a daily my basis. personal <laughs> tool. <laughs> My personal tool, like like he developed it. Yeah, I've been coding this for a while. Took me a lot few years. It's my own personal tool. It's called YouTube Analytics. Oh, the thing everyone um, can have. <laughs> I thought I thought he was implying that uh, his analytic tool is special and unique from everybody else's. It was given directly to him from YouTube because he's a big baller. Obviously, that, yeah, that's what he's trying to make you think. Yeah, that's my own personal tool. You guys might not know about this. Uh, you're into this, you know, you said viewers. I am a YouTuber, so we have special personal tools. Thank you. Basis. I can see that two days ago. My video had as many views as it's showing right now. What are we I pointing to? What are we pointing to? We are pointing to time now. I've never seen this. We are literally pointing to two days ago, or is it the clock? Ooh. Um, Maybe calendar? Does he have a calendar on the wall? You oh, know he loves his calendars. Oh, yes. Could be the calendar. We're pointing at time Which now, though. Which is my personal tool to see how my videos are performing on a daily basis. I can see that two days ago... My video had as many views as it's showing right now, so it really is delayed for whatever reason. So I made this video, and I got an amazing backlash from people. My only in the other thought saying, is yes, that please. he's pointing. He's pointing through the wall at the PC. I don't know the exact Ooh. orientation of the room, but he's okay. like, you know, talking about the views, and he's pointing at his PC. That's yeah. my only other. I don't think we ever got. Did we ever get a a, a full condo tour with this setup? Because in more modern times. It would go, uh, you walk in, and then you get the, you know, the shelf with all the fucking CDs, and then you have the computer, and then you have the TV, right, in that kind of yes. order along the wall. So this, but this one is up against the far wall, it looks like. I could be wrong about that, but that's what it looks like. Or is this in the bedroom? I think this is the bedroom. Ah, bed. Okay, bedroom style now. Bedroom style desk. Okay, okay, okay. You see, his, his bedroom was full of shit like this, too. Like, just... A desk and boxes and stuff at one point too. Okay, like just okay. filled it out. Okay, gotcha. Watch YouTube views. Why are you telling us this? This has nothing to do with us. Okay, You're gotcha. sold out. All you care about is money. To which I was like, To which Whoa. I was like, What? Why did I get that response? I, I've always made <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 
Twitch, I was like... Cocks it back. Watch. Of his money. To which I was like, "Watch how far he goes back here." We gotta slow it down for science. <laughs> <laughs> no chin. <laughs> this is when 3D does not exist. You're just a flat being. No chin, <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Whoa! Why did I get that response? I, I've always made videos about YouTube bugs. I even made, made a point to show that over two years ago. Before I ever made a penny on YouTube, I made videos about YouTube bugs, Ooh. and it's definitely one of the ones I, I made always complain YouTube. about YouTube bugs. It's one of my things. Yeah. That's part of my content, That's a dude. Feature, dude. Dumb fuck. Being wrong. So I've always kind of been like the person who, if there's something wrong with YouTube, yeah, I want yeah, to thank you, biggest boss. My viewers, my subscribers, uh, all those issues. Can we talk about the car again, or what? <laughs> uh, I heard YouTube bugs. I think we were up to where we were talking about YouTube oh, bugs. Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, it might not directly affect you personally, but I'm sure there's some of you out there are affected and want to know about it. And it seems like now attitudes have shifted. It seems like because now what? I'm in a position where <laughs> YouTube is my livelihood. What? I make money on every video I YouTube's put out. YouTube's my uh, livelihood. The, sir, I asked about the tour. Are you going to do a tour of your condo? That was the question. That Can I see your question. living room and your action figures? Uh, yeah, I'm, YouTube's my living now. <laughs> and people know this. And I'm doing pretty well for myself. Uh, what? A lot of people are. We just wanted to get this. We just wanted to like just brag here. That's what we're doing. Okay. This was the flex segment. He had yeah. to get one in. All right. Taking things that I previously would have said and taking it in a different light. Okay. And I understand okay. how that can happen. I absolutely do. Okay. Um, and I apologize for anyone who's misconstrued something that I said because I'm not all about the money. I'm not, I don't feel I'm a sellout, and I don't think I'm always talking about making money or views or complaining well, about that. That or would change. Like that. Just in particular, that happened at that time, and it just kind of roped people the wrong way. So let me it, it roped Damn, people. Was the, on. Did it rope people the wrong way or rub people the wrong way? I heard rope. He said. Particular. I think he said <laughs> robed. <laughs> it, oh, it robed people. <laughs> it robed people. <laughs> That happened at that time, and it just kind of roped people the wrong way. Uh, it's so kind of tough. It yeah, could tell. Good tell. Being, that being said, that's just happening. Do you yeah. really think that right now is a pertinent time for me to do a condo tour to show off my new car? Yeah. I don't think so. Why? So, will I maybe do those things in the future? Possibly, but I understand that over time, people's attitudes change, people's conceptions and perceptions of things change. Being that you know that I make my money off of YouTube, is it? fair for me in a time when i know there's a bad economy a lot of people are struggling to keep their oh okay i get it now i didn't know we were doing this so he's saying i don't want to appear to be flaunting what i have because yeah that, he took a really long road to get there but yeah, yeah it's, i didn't see that angle coming at all i can't we, show you guys my stuff because i i'm i have more money than you and, and i'm better <laughs> We went like of all the way around the world to say like I don't bitch. I don't want to show people that I have a lot of stuff I guess. Your jobs, a lot of people are struggling to even find a job and make ends meet. Yeah, oh, you guys are struggling to pay your bills. Is... I'm buying statues and BMWs. That's yes. what's up, dude. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got, ha, ha, look at me, I'm making oh, money and you're not. And of course, that's not the intention of the uh... videos. I'm just trying to share some cool stuff with you guys because I think that you enjoy. You know, seeing the stuff that and Frog I'm Machine able to, says to. his first kind of tour would be two months from this video. So, okay, I guess the the uh, circumstances changed. To get you know, based off my YouTube career, but I don't think it's the appropriate time right now to be doing that kind okay, of stuff. Okay, two months later will be though. So just hang on. So will there be a time when the condo tour and uh, you know I'll show you my car and all that possibly, but not right now. Okay. So much right. you. Month. Yep. Another common question. People asking me, what gaming conventions will I be uh, attending? Well, oh very soon, meaning within two months, is doing this whole thing too again. Many games, which is yeah. in. We're not. Last week we showed clips of that. I'm not doing it again this week. Philadelphia, <laughs> the same we'll field trips there. again yeah, and again. Same. We're not doing the same thing again. Whole weekend, 15th through the 17th of June, 2012. And when I say we, I mean myself, John Rambo, OJ, and uh, oh. Panda Lee. We're all going to be there. Uh, and we're going to have a... Girlfriend came last. Couldn't even remember her name. You hear that? <laughs> John, yeah. Howard, Rambo, John... and uh, uh, oh, Lee. Yeah, yeah, she's there too. Huh? Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend, her name's uh, <laughs> uh, not Asian, by the uh... way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, myself, John Rambo, OJ, and uh, Panda Lee. We're all going to be there. <laughs> and we're going to have a vendor table. Be... Rambo was definitely first. Well, first himself. He loves that. He loves himself the most. Second is John Rambo, though, definitely. We're going to have a vendor 
table there. So Ooh. he'll be doing Project 7 stuff. There'll be a By Project 7 stuff, he means literally playing the video on a laptop. Yes, He's laptop on table. You can just watch it right there. Yeah. Stand in front of the stand in front of the table and watch it on a two inch monitor. <laughs> Very fun. The panel for Project 7. We're probably going to release some exclusive footage. Whoa. If not a whole episode, we'll be screening it there. In fact, that might be where we screen episode four before its official release. So not even episode one. The episode four. Too many games. Yep. Com. Check it out. Okay. Cool. Now. Another What's the website again? I right, might be able to find out. The website's too many games dot com. Okay. Check it out. Okay. Too many games dot com. Now, check it. Oh, that's it. another question I got is uh, from a couple people, actually uh, a bunch a of, of people. people who live in Europe. Is will I ever be oh. traveling abroad? Hey, European styles. Europe Shout out Meerkat. Because I have oh, a huge. This was Meerkat, Sam, and Steve's question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Big awesome. Up guys, they asked this all together. People who live in Europe is will oh. I ever be traveling abroad? Will I ever go to Europe? Because I have a huge following over there people mentioned do you want to ever go to like the euro gamer convention um is it a possibility in the future absolutely i don't want to write anything out but right now <laughs> dude I, you dude you'd say that about literally anything i don't want to write any, I, I, okay what's he trying to say he said i don't want to write anything out I think he what means like set anything in stone, doesn't he? That's what I'm getting. But he says I thought, I write think he was anything. Just saying, write anything off, like oh, like yeah, as things that he can't off. do. Yeah, write anything off. Yeah, that's probably it. But he said write anything down <laughs> or rule anything yeah, out. Yeah, he was rule anything out. That's yeah. yeah. He's so he's doing both of them, but at the same time, I don't want to write it. anything out. <laughs> I don't want to write anything <laughs> down. That was a good one. There, people mentioned. Do you want? Were you ever go to like the Euro Gamer Convention? Um. Is it a possibility in the future? Absolutely. I don't want to write anything out. But right now, I'm actually struggling just to find conventions in the United States to attend. And I'll be completely honest, it's not like when I went to MAGFest that I had thousands of people knocking down my door. You know what? what? Huh? huh? You said what? it was standing room only. Huh? Thousands of people. What? I will have to share that one. I mean, I can't not. Yeah, you brought it up. Yeah, you brought this up, Philip. Well, not that again. This is a great video, though. <laughs> this is my like favorite video of all time. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> all right. Well, I won't watch it, but that's like the best. Okay, Magfest though. Huh? You said Magfest thousands of people. Big. Oh. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone, for coming. And, uh, all right. Here's Magfest. <laughs> I thought it was standing room only. What? Whoa! They got out of their seats really fast. They were sprinting down the aisle. So let's hear what he says it though. Oh, he, speak up Snort Hogan, by the way, for this That's video. That's why I ignored stupidity, pick just up. so you know. But uh -oh. Stand up for two. Oh, hold on. If you want to know, it's hilarious. It's it's called Revisionist History. Why am I ignoring it? The yes, person who's going to argue with me about my panel at MAGFest 2012. Yeah, we just they're saw gonna that. tell me that I had a relatively small panel. With okay, yes. relatively small panel. Oh, not that. That's different. Relatively small panel. You definitely did, sir. This is relatively small. Look at this. You had people. Be happy anyone was there. Be happy anyone Check, was this, here. If this is your turnout, like, cool, dude. I'm glad those yeah. people showed up to listen to you talk or whatever, but don't lie <laughs> about it now. Don't say it was standing room only then. That's the bad part. Well, they're going to tell me that I had a relatively small that panel is true. Yes. with a mixed reaction, and that's why MAGFest didn't invite me back. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Even uh, it, though it was standing room right. only, there were people in the back of the room <laughs> who had to stand up for two rows because there was not enough room for people to stand or to sit in the in the room. How? And there were people waiting outside of the room for an hour before we started. That was Why were they waiting uh, outside for the next panel? <laughs> a small panel. The I think they, maybe they were waiting for the next panel. Actually, <laughs> no, it was ten years before COVID, Instamat. They were. They just chose to sit in the. Uh, in uh, pandemic style seating, <laughs> leaving space on both sides of everyone. Idiot. They were That's just getting practice and they knew. Yeah, yeah, they knew it was Idiot. coming. Just so you know, but it's called revisionist history. It's when people like you on the internet hate yeah. you. Uh, no, there actually he's was He's pigmatized a time was himself a so much, he genuinely believes that. I know. Like, That's crazy. This is, I mean, it, if you're going to lie, lie about stuff no one can tell about, right? I could say when I was oh, I was on a just say like when I was ten years old I climbed Mount Fuji, dude, myself. It was really cool. Atlas, did you know that? Yeah. I did that. It was cool. Oh, well, that's pretty cool, dude. It was awesome, man. It was a lot of fun. I did it myself. Really baller of you. People said yeah, I shouldn't do it, but baby. I did anyway, and I did it. It was really cool. <laughs> but look at this. Everyone can see this video. Look at the back. Look at the back. You can see 
every single panel in the back because no one's standing there. <laughs> well, that's the thing. As a not lunatic style, I couldn't imagine just visually remembering like there being people that didn't exist when there's footage that says <laughs> otherwise. I don't know how you convince yourself of that. That's insane behavior. God. Oh, my God. All right. Let's get back to it, though. But anyways, let's get to past Phil c correctly stating that he didn't have a great turnout for MAGFest. Right now, I'm actually struggling just to find conventions in the United States to attend. And I'll be completely honest. It's not like when I went to MAGFest that I had thousands of people knocking down my door. You know okay, I mean? I'm going to put that on Twitter later. Don't worry. I'll put those two together. Those two statements together <laughs> are very powerful. I mean, um... I think it's just starting. I'm starting to get to the point where if I were to tour a convention circuit, that people would turn out to, to hang out. Tour and say, hey, a to convention a circuit. He thinks he's a rock star, dude. Uh -huh. Touring the convention. What, dude, what are you doing? It's not doesn't work like that. It's not like a band where like you build up hype, you know, like playing songs and people you getting new fans. That's not how panels work. It's a totally different universe. Like, oh, let me check out this guy's panel I don't know, for no reason. Oh, Philip Burnell, I like him. I'm going to check out his next show. That's not how it goes. Yeah. You don't, I mean, you might check out his YouTube channel. Absolutely true. But you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, now I got to go see his next panel. I'm going to love it even more. <laughs> what? Come on. So am I considering it? Sure. But I don't think it's anything in the near future I'm going to be doing. Maybe in a couple of years if this thing blows up even further, Project 7 becomes super popular. And, you know, you, you want to see a, a, a panel of us and there's a massive demand over in Europe, I may do it. But uh -huh. right now I'm trying to even just build something here in my home country. Before Europeans I, I get abroad, help if that's okay? the case. All right. Uh, well, we do have a uh, website hype. So let's get some webs too many games website hype for a second. Oh, yeah. I could show you the panels and showcases. Uh, hang on. So the pa panels and showcases here are Pocaholics Anonymous. How to create a successful YouTube show, which I thought could be Philip, but it is not Philip. Uh, chip tunes, 8 bit music, what's that? Great sounds from old school sound clips. Write your own Nintendo music. And that is the end of list. So Philip did not make the website on this date, uh, which was May 12th uh, of the same year he would go on it. Now, might he have been added to this website later? Yes, absolutely. But I'm just telling you, on May 5th of the year, where his panel was, uh, there is no Philip here. Um, if you have an idea for a panel or showcase, you would like to hold it too many games. We're, we're pretty desperate. So if you have any <laughs> fucking ideas, email Paul at too many games com, And that is what Philip did. So, yeah, very prestigious panelist here. Um, I'm sure they added... Really like, among the greats. A Mount Rushmore <laughs> yes. of talent, as you can we see. We have... <laughs> I'm not, I'm, but trust me, I'm making fun of DSP here, not inverse phase. But I want to say we have three panels from inverse phase and two panels from the underbelly show. And that's the end of list. So if you want to join, join this list, just send an email to paul at too many games .com And you can start your touring career of... of you can uh, hit the circuit. Yeah, then you always circuit. want to do that? <laughs> yeah. Big ups. All Another right. major occurrence that actually happened in this past month... Is right. that if you can believe it, Hutch, oh. who works for Machinima, who was Hello, one of the Hutch. Big of Hutch. In Machinima, who was first of all started off just making videos for Machinima. And you talk shit about him endlessly. Are we gonna say that too, or are you gonna leave that part out? Machinima channel. We're just gonna leave that out. Come on now. <laughs> by Machinima, okay. And moving to LA to work with those guys, he left Machinima, meaning he actually quit his job there. Yeah. And then he left YouTube altogether. Okay. Oh my God, what? He's gone. Wow. He's quit YouTube. Okay. And people want to know, what are my feelings on this? Yeah, well, what are your feelings on as this? As you know, Hutch and I have a, a spotted history. Oh, uh, what? You know, Ooh, uh, here we go. Spotted as in you mean you talk shit about him, and then you banned him from talking in your chat and your comments. That's what you want to say. Okay, got didn't it. Even have I spotted. Uh, you know, your sound like a detractor, dude. Oh, I'm going to have to ask you to reel it in. <laughs> sorry about that. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it in a little bit. Guy, here and I got in a Machinima contract way back when. I think it was like late 2009. And it wasn't the partnership that I have now. It was the contract to upload videos to Machinima Respawn. Ah. And at the time, I had explained to my contact, gee, you know, I didn't think that this was going to work out because I do playthroughs, you know. And video game playthroughs, I really doubt they're going to want to see that kind of footage on Respawn. Those are more like montage clips of first-person shooter games. It really has nothing to do with what I do. And they were like, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Just sign the contract. You could have done did, something, sudden, though. Oh, 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 we're going to get contract lore, though. All of a sudden, what happened? After you signed the contract, what happened? And they were like, no, 
it's okay, it's okay, just sign the contract. And when I did, all of a sudden, all these, I got a second contract, literally, that had all these. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the lie hits. Hang on. This is where the lie hits. We got. That's why we're itching. You signed, yeah, yeah. Quarter Demon's waking up too. I'm, I'll get a better one, but you know <laughs> he's kind of waking up now. He's moving. Uh, he signed a contract, and then they magically gave him a second contract after you signed that one. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, very true. This definitely happened. Let's keep going. All these disclaimers and rules and stuff. All of a sudden, all these, I got a second contract, literally, that had all these disclaimers. And all right, so real quick, just a quick recap here. So Philip says that they, they agree, they made him sign the contract, which they, by made him sign, they said, here's a contract, would you like to sign it? And Philip chose to sign it. And then he was going to say all these, you know, conditions came up or all these conditions and things I have to do came up. But he realized that sounded a little bit too insane, like even to him. So then he says there was a second contract out of nowhere, which doesn't make any the sense in the, any world. the second one came down from the rafters, oh, AOT. You couldn't okay. see it coming. There was no <laughs> yeah. tell. That old famous, after you sign the first contract, we just throw another one down on the table for you. This one you don't have to sign, though. It's just it's just there to exist to give you extra shit to do. I love those. You're going to want to see that this is going to work <laughs> out because I do playthrough. Right. Like, Classic business-style dealing, guys. Uh, don't worry about it. Yep. I'm a businessman. Sign the first one, and then we'll give you another one. <laughs> First-person shooter games really has nothing to do with... I got a, they were like, no, it's okay, it's okay, just sign the contract. Uh -huh. and, and when I did, all of a sudden, all these, I got a second contract, literally, that had all these disclaimers <laughs> and rules and stuff that I had no idea were going to apply. And uh, I said, that's it. I, I kind of left a bad taste in my mouth that there was like these hidden terms, okay? Uh I Oh, what? <laughs> How could they be hidden? You said they were in the second contract, sir, that you just made up in your own head. Huh? How were they hidden? They then? hid it on the second oh, contract, ALT. Okay, hidden second. Okay, it was in invisible ink. That kind of ink, yes. you, had to, you had to pee on it, and then the uh, then this <laughs> prison <con> style. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then the hidden messages came out. Okay, got it. I spoke about this publicly, and all of a sudden, Hutch heard about it. And yes. Of course, this is his livelihood, and he very, you know, actively and vividly made a video defending Machinima, saying that I'm an, I'm a liar and all this. That video is sadly gone. That's one of those ones we gotta get because you fucking know, you fucking know that would say like we there was nothing secret about it. Unfortunately, that video does not exist anymore. That's. That would be magical to see, though, unfortunately. Yes, I'm wrong, or maybe I misconstrued what was said. The bottom line is it was a double hey, misunderstanding. I don't think hey. either of us knew exactly what we were talking about. I think Hutch didn't understand that I was talking about one particular program and not another. And we ended up kind of making up and squashing the beef, as they say. And we didn't really <laughs> care about that anymore. It was just kind of, you know... Squashing beef. Squash. He really thinks. Yeah. He really thinks he's like a rapper or, like I said earlier, a rock star. He thought he was somebody. Man, it's kind of embarrassing. And what he means by squashing the beef in this case is, Hutch was Hutch was the bigger person in the in the in the exchange. He said, "Okay, Philip, we really want you on uh, on the machinima anyway. Will you take the contract?" That's what it was. You know what I'm saying like, "All right, Philip, do you want to join anyway?" And then. Philip said yes. So that was how they yes, squashed the beef. Yes, I need the money. Uh huh. I will join you because I'm scared of uh, copyright shit. So yes, I will join you. I never talked about it again. And then in late 2010, well, actually, I want to say late 2010, early 2011, when all the crap happened with me getting kicked out of the the, the YouTube partnership program, then going to Blip TV, getting kicked off Blip TV because of fucking trolls and haters. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Nothing we did. Oh. oh. Oh, those dirty trolls and haters made you say uh, hello yeah, Jew okay. and all that stuff. Okay, got it. Got it. We went through this again already. We went through this like five times already on the show, so this is clearly on top of For his sure. mind. He says it every time. <laughs> The trolls and haters got me fired. Got I it. I wrote Clutch a, a simple message on YouTube, and I said, dude, what do you guys have at this point? Are you signing people to do this full-time? Because I'm just, like, lost at this point. It's not... So that's how you squashed the beef. <laughs> you uh, came r crawling back to him and said, will you please take me? Will you, will you take me back? I know I talked shit about you earlier, but will you take me back because I really want the money? Thank you. I'm working out, and I don't know what to do. Uh -huh. And he put me in contact with the right people. They liked. They looked at my stuff. They liked it. They saw I had a big following. They signed me up for the Machinima Partnership, and since then, everything's gone swimmingly. My right. life's drastically improved. Thank you for reopening your membership. So I appreciate that. All I can say Big is fear this. Monarch. Too much. First of all, thank you so much for putting me in contact with improved. those people. Come on, thank how could it not be? Understanding yep. that you know we're both people who are pretty much trying to do the same thing: make a living doing what we enjoy doing. Okay. And 
I'm glad that you know our little t tiff there earlier didn't no. hinder our relationship. Uh, that that later on, that you put me in contact with the right people, um, and I'm grateful to you for doing that. So thank you so much for that. I mean, my life is crazy. <laughs> Watch out, boys. He's waking up. They finally had enough. Quarter even said, all right, I'm done with this shit, man. I'm up. I'm awake now. <laughs> life is crazy good now because of this, okay? <laughs> My life is crazy good now because of this. Crazy good. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for that. I mean, my life is crazy good now because of this, okay? Yes. I it's all Hutch's fault. I obviously have no idea what the hell happened um, that you left YouTube. It must not be something very good, you know what I mean? Okay. And I can kind of understand that, especially with a lot of the negativity that I get from trolls and haters. Sometimes it can build up against me. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm lucky I've stayed a positive, I maintain a positive attitude, and I've overcome all, positive. Those bullshit, yeah. all the roadblocks that I've come across. Just the way that it was announced, like Hutch didn't even make like a videos about it. It was just one video on the Machinima channel, and it was really weird, odd video. Hutch seemed kind of out of place during the video, like he was uncomfortable even being there. I don't know if there was like, some kind of a a, 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 a a rift between him and Machinima. Maybe there's okay, a disagreement maybe. there. Keep in mind just he worked full now. time for Machinima yeah, as a you know, salary no job. Plus, he made money off the views. Talking uh, to hear ourselves talk. Just to get moved past this, uh, just to give you more context, Hutch is still on YouTube to this day. Uh, not uploading all the time, but every video he does upload gets 10, 15, 20,000 views. He has 844,000 subscribers. Um, he survived past... This moment, Philip, and uh, doesn't beg anybody. No. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that he was uploading to his partner channel and also to the Machinima channel. So he was making double money. He was Ooh, making money for a full time money. job he was working, God, plus money for any videos he double, made. Double and I'm wondering if somehow there, maybe there was a conflict there. The fact that he's completely quit YouTube kind of like blows oh, yeah. me and throws me for a loop. He appears to be a streamer now. So, yeah, that's just YouTube. He's still putting YouTube videos out every once in a while. They get 10, 20,000 views, but he seems to be streaming almost every day. So, there you go. Hutch update. For blows me. Up. <laughs> blows my mind. Not blows me. But it throws me for a loop because that's residual money. Even if he just made one video a month, that's residual money he could have kept making. He's basically saying, fuck it. I'm done. I want to do something else with my life. Maybe he just became completely burnt out. Okay. I don't know what the situation is. Residual really money. You really thought this shit was royalties or something. I, I guess so. Is this? He obviously, Hutch, you had a huge impact on YouTube, on gamers in general, and I think you had a positive influence overall, and you seem like a good person, so I wish you the best at whatever you choose to do. And hopefully things work out for you. I'm not sure what happened, but hopefully... He's doing fine. Things are still good. Okay? Yes. They're fine. Moving good. on. And this is going to be another common question. And I'm actually oh, running yeah. out of time for my first video, if you can believe it. But I haven't even gotten to most of the questions. I'm just answering these common questions. Another common <laughs> question. I've gotten this everywhere. I've gotten this on Twitter. I've gotten this on comments in my videos. I've gotten this in PMs on YouTube. I've gotten this in the forums for Ask the King. Very important I got it style. Okay, who cares? Sispa. It's this bill. Oh, Another God. Bill the US oh, my God. You've heard of SOPA. You've heard of PIPA. Have you heard of CISPA? Ba, ba, ba. I have not heard of CISPA. I don't give a shit about it, though, to be honest. But let's see. I don't either. Everyone on the internet seems to be talking about it, okay? <laughs> well, Phil, why Man. are you talking about this? You were, like, the alertist for SOPA and PIPA and oh, S.978 last take year. Take a shot. You must the alertist. CISPA, all right? If you hear SOPA or PIPA, you got to take a shot. Very simple answer. LT's trying to Sispa kill people. Has nothing to do with video games, with playthroughs, <laughs> with YouTube. Oh. It's completely unrelated. Ah. People are. Here's what's going on. Hey, what's going on? A lot of people got involved with SOPA and PIPA last year. And I really think a lot it was of people. This, the gaming community in general, Go which try. usually doesn't get involved in these kinds of issues because of people like me, because of other people who are speaking up about the issue, got involved. And now they're kind wow. of involved in this community of. Oh, activists. God. Oh, God. Yeah. He's got to take a shot himself. Yep. What I mean is there are some non-for-profit activist entities yes. out there, like DemandProgress.org, who was one of the major people or major yeah. organizations We're like Get Soap and Pitbull last year. <laughs> yeah, Fight for the Future. You, there's like five or six of them I can talk That's about. a good name. You know, people have like the name for the subscribers and shit. Like, you know, welcome to the Duck Pond, everybody. Yeah, we got to have activists. <laughs> activists is kind of is really good. I like That's that. It's kind of hype. Well, oh, you now became an activist. <laughs> Bob, the top of my head. And when you actually participated in the anti-SOPA and PIPA protests oh, last another year, another shot. Hey, <laughs> oh, you got signed off. up for all their mailing lists. 
So all of a sudden now, every little issue they want to talk about, you're getting notified about. You know you can turn that off. What I need you to understand is this. You can text stop. Especially with politics. <laughs> this is why I don't talk about politics a lot. Why? You need to pick and choose your fights. Uh, you need to find the ones uh, that you think are going to have the that's most That's why we write defense so much. We're yes. picking like and this. choosing. Picking fights. And that's the one that you go gung-ho for. Yes. If you don't, if you do it for every single little issue, what you're going to find... Is that you're gonna I'm not be straddling the fence because I like wolf. it. I'm you're just waiting in anticipation. Yes. All you do all day is complain about this isn't fair, that's not fair, this is wrong, that is wrong. And what you become is an alarmist. Oh. And the last thing you want to do is become an alarmist because when you're alarmist, you're like a car alarm. You're constantly going off, you're annoying, and <laughs> oh. no one wants to listen to you anymore. What the fuck was that metaphor? You're like a car alarm. Constantly going like, off. What? It's like if you owned a sandwich shop, dude. <laughs> Why did you say car alarm? Wouldn't car just alarm? alarm? Yeah, wouldn't just alarm work there for the same purpose? Like car alarm. <laughs> okay, you're a car alarm. All right. I'm a car alarm. All right. Is an alarmist. Okay. I mean, the last thing you want to do is become an alarmist because when you're alarmist, you're like a car alarm. Okay, I'm a you're car alarm. You're constantly going off. You're annoying, and no one wants to listen to you oh. anymore. And that's definitely not what I want to become, especially with my YouTube. What? presence here that's not the purpose ah. it's not my purpose to follow every you came in the alarmist when it came to saving the house i'll tell you that for oh, free that God, was an alarmist. those streams were <laughs> bad that was an alarmist he was very alarmed and alarm everyone that all oh, this possibly might not be good for everyone okay CISPA is a bill oh, that CISPA? has to do with privacy, Ooh. meaning I'm not drinking for CISPA. No, no drink for CISPA. companies like YouTube, like any company that you sign up for, you pay something for, your ISP, for example, whoever gives you your internet service, that kind of stuff. And what the bill is that the government might have the ability to, you know, get that information uh, from those entities, okay? Is it a problem? Could it be a problem with privacy like rights and all kinds of stuff like that? Absolutely. It could be. Could it lead to <laughs> okay. worse things? Absolutely. Absolutely. Does it have could anything it? to do with myself, my YouTube career, or gaming? No. It's completely okay. fucking unrelated. And so it's ridiculous. I see these videos online. CISPA is worse than SOPA and PIPA. Hey. Oh, another shot. We're up to three now. Nothing to fucking do with SOPA and PIPA. It's completely unrelated. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the same issue. So why the fuck do people have this impression that it's related? Very simple. Because the same political activists, demandprogress.org or whatever, are sending out alerts uh, from Biden saying, done with this thanks question. for your help last year with SOPA and PIPA. Here's something we also need. Oh, another but shot. People are very confused. And they're scratching their heads like, I don't understand what's going on with these issues. Listen, if there's something that's important that I think will directly affect YouTube, will directly affect the video game community... Only worry about I'll things that I worry about. You. If there's something horrendous that's going to ruin everyone's life... Oh, God, this I'll question sucks. You. Thank you. <laughs> just why don't you listen to me? <laughs> Bill, that might be misconstrued just like so. Fuck what everyone else says. Or Pippa, and it might open a can of worms that we don't want to open. Has uh -oh. nothing to do with what I'm here to talk to you about. All right. So I'm not going to be the alarmist and become a political activist. That's not what I'm here for. Okay. That's not my role. That's why I'm not talking about CISPA. CISPA has nothing to do with video games, so I'm not going to talk about it. And okay. that's that. That that's could it. have been 10 seconds, but End we said we got fucking five. I'm done talking about CISPA. Um, oh, oh. I will continue to alert Ooh. you if I feel there are things going on that Ooh. you know you need to know about. I'll tell you right now, I don't think CISPA is one of them. I think it's completely. Oh God! Did we already answer this? We're really talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. One or two more questions, and then we're going to split this episode because I'm running out of time. It was perfect, actually, for the amount of questions I have. Um, this question is from actually one person, if you can believe it, not a common question. Um, okay. Hi, Phil. Okay. I have a question. Why don't you review fighting games in your Hateful Truth series? Yeah. I think that many fans that love that's... fighting games would love to see your opinions on these games. Yeah, definitely. You can put them up on DSP Street Fighter so that only fans that like Didn't fighting he, games would see them. Please let me know what you think of this idea, and that's from the Epic Gaming Crew. Well, Get help, Epic Gaming Definitely question. watch some He's Hateful <laughs> Truths that were fighting games, though. Like, He's what are say, we talking yeah, about Yeah, this is a dumb question. Like, there hasn't been a new one that came out, so since I started the hateful truth. Absolutely right. I have never reviewed a fighting game. And I have a really right. good answer for this. Um, oh, okay. The bottom line is this. Okay, check it. Hey. I do have knowledge of fighting games. I have years of competitive experience in fighting oh, games. How awesome and are therefore, we? I think I have insight into fighting games that other people we do not. We have the insight. That being said, oh, big one. Oh, for nice. Me to do a fighting game, I big feel one. Out, obviously. <laughs> that with other people who weren't for wait, 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 I can time this. I feel that that being said, and therefore I think I have insight into fighting games that other people do not.
Philip, what's your favorite podcast, though? If you had to choose any podcast in the world to choose on YouTube, what would you choose to say your favorite podcast is? What do you think? Just You could say whatever you want in the world. That being said... Okay, well, thank you for that. I do appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Thank I, you know, I can't, I can't <laughs> help but agree, actually, with the <laughs> guy you. for once. Thank you. For me to review a fighting game, I feel that it would give it a weight that if other people who weren't pro former professional players were to review it, that it, it wouldn't. You know what I mean? If I were to review a fighting game... And no, I, I do not. have no goddamn I clue. I, I have no clue what you just said. That There's never been a, you know what I mean, I agree with less. You know what I mean? I do not know what you mean. Then literally, no, not a single word. Were to review it, that it, it wouldn't. You know what I mean? If no. I review a fighting game and Angry Joe reviews a fighting game, yeah, yeah. it's two different things. He's like a common gamer. Sure, he's a fan of fighting games, but he's not going out on pro circuits playing the games. He hasn't been in the tournament community. He's a normie. He hasn't played them at a yeah, so we can't comment because we know too much? High, high level. That's different from me. I yeah. have. So if I say something about a fighting game, chances are people listen, okay? Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm the fourth uh, in Evo 2005, 2005 uh, first in the U.S., so people listen when I talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of an authority on the subject, so... <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> and so, I don't want to review a game and then have the wrong impression be taken. And the reason I'm saying it is this. What? For me to review a game, I would need to play it at a competitive level. That's the kind of person I am. I've been around the block, and if I review... <laughs> What? What games do you play at a competitive level besides fighting games? Are all the games he plays are uh, he's reviewed so far, he plays at a competitive level? What? Yeah, he's a competitive uh, Red Faction guerrilla player. Oh, I'll tell you that for free. Okay, okay. Uh, Halo say... 3 ODST, catch him at MLG <laughs> tournaments all the time, dude. Oh. Skullgirls is an 8 out of 10, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be able to give reasons why Skullgirls. The combo system is complex and robust. Because oh, robust! No yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Robust. We rarely get that said. That's a real one. In, no infinite loops because, um, yeah, I don't know. There's no game-breaking bugs, yada, yada, yada. At high levels, everyone's balanced. That's the kind of review I'd want to give you, not yeah. what everyone else does. Everyone else, you go to a gaming magazine or whatever and you read it, it's like, well, there's a big character selection. The gameplay seems fun. There's a lot of game modes. I give it a nine. It's like... But you okay. said nothing about the actual competitive play of the game, which is really the core of a fighting game. Is is it fun okay. in a competitive atmosphere? I hate this and mentality so much. Yeah. I really so do. If you don't, if you don't, so he's trying to say why he can't do it is because he doesn't play fighting games enough to give you the competitive side of it. Which is, let's get real, very few people really care about that level of competitiveness he's talking about. But since yeah, because of that, he, yeah, we can't talk about it at all. Makes sense. Go ahead. He still does that to this day. He's he's so like, oh, they don't think about the competitive aspect. Like most people aren't going to play it competitive, though. They're just going to play it online a couple of times, play the story mode, and then they won't play it again. Like that's, yes. the, that's the way these games go. Most people just play games for fun. I know it's crazy, but they do. Yeah, because none of them are competitive players. <laughs> so for them to review a game like that is pretty worthless. So that's what I do. I don't want to review a game and have it be worthless. If I were to review a fighting game, I would need to get super competitive in it to tell you at high levels if it's if it's a worthy game. Okay. I have not done that in quite some time. It's time consuming, and none of these games have really <laughs> gripped me since the original Street gripped Fighter 4, Vanilla Street Fighter 4. None of the games have gripped me enough that I wanted to try to play them in a competitive okay, setting. Not gripping so if I were enough. to review the game, it would be unfair. I wouldn't be giving it a I'm fair like John shape. Rambo. He is gripping me. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. Correct. So I'm not going to review fighting games unless I finally get uh, a huge belch out. Oh but if my I also God. get to a point where I ignore, get back ignore it. competitively and I can give you from a competitive standpoint whether I think a game is good or not. For example, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's fucking horrible, okay? Ooh. From a competitive standpoint, for people who have... For me, I've been around the block... The game's not very good in a competitive light. It's a one-hit kill around the block. in 99%. He's been around the block, dude. The situations. All you need to do not is on a find bike, a team no. where you hit, get <laughs> no. one, co one combo, giant combo, canceling or tagging the next guy, continue the combo. Oh, your character's dead. So wait a minute. I just lost a full character because I got hit once? That's horrible gameplay, okay? And I can give you comparisons to previous fighting games where that's happened, and those games were not good in a competitive nature. And I can give you comparisons to games oh, where please that end doesn't this. happen, and that's why Don't they're keep much, going. much better. So for me, yes, a fighting game like that, question is one, one of my least favorites. No, because I don't fucking yep. care enough to even review it. That's what I mean. I, I really was so turned off by the Marvel. I don't even care. Marvel stupid. Of Capcom fighters in the past couple of years that I just don't even want to give them the time of day in that regard. So. 
It is what it is. I'm not, good. I'm not even gonna let you services. get the chance. I live what it is what Doing it is. With hateful troops of fighting games in the near future, unless I, I get involved play. in them competitively, and I don't have any plans to do that with any of those games anytime soon. So. Okay. All right. All right. That's it for part one of Ask the King. I'm coming right hey. back for part two. We got a ridiculous more amount of questions. Like I didn't even get to half the questions yet. Just we had those <laughs> common questions that were really important that I wanted to address because so many Wonder people why. asked about them. So we come back. Even more interesting questions, so Ooh. be sure to tune in. Stay tuned for part two of Ask the King. Thanks. Oh, he cut out the he cut out the getting up though. We should give him credit for that. He, yeah, a little bit of editing. Oh, you gotta appreciate yeah. what you get. All right, part two. What's up, everybody? We're back with part two. Welcome back. This ah, is part no, two. I would be oh, heartbroken if in between <laughs> parts one time he removed the bag. I would just be <laughs> oh, it's destroyed. Gonna, it's, at some point, we're going to have to say bye to the bag. At some point. But who knows when the fuck it's going to be. <laughs> Living on a wing and a prayer for the bag, bro. Yeah, that's that's a lot of common questions bag is on. Been asking me over the past month, and I think it was really informative. So check that out. Oh, what's up, Mikhail? Covering Philly, not learning a bike. We didn't yet today, but we have before. Basically, uh, he, he won a bike. Okay, real quick. Oh, oh Atlas, I'm going to test you with that. The bike oh, okay. lore. So I think, let me say it first, make sure I'm not saying anything stupid. So he had a, uh, he won, his dad was going to buy him a bike. But he said, please don't buy it because it'll just get stolen. Then they won a bike at some mm -hmm. function. And then Philip made his dad buy it rather than taking the bike because, again, it would get stolen by those, um, you, you know, uh, and unfavorable people in the neighborhood. They're pretty right on that. I can't remember. Made him buy it. I don't remember. I, Wasn't I, I, there the, two bikes at one point? Oh, was there two bikes? They made him sell it. Excuse me. I said buy it. Made him sell it. Made him sell it. They made him sell it. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, they made him sell it. He made his dad sell it because it would get stolen by the, you know, the unfavorable people of the community let's say yeah stationary style i get it i get it <laughs> yes, I get it. yes okay there that's we not go. what you're stepping <laughs> in that's what's up too that's the bike uh, lower there. without further ado let's jump right back into it all right back into um, it um actually this is another kind of a common question a couple people asked me it so okay. let's mention it uh tabletop gaming people want to know if i've ever done tabletop <laughs> gaming whether it, it's uh things like uh warhammer whether it's things like I'm trying to think of a, a couple of different Warhammer. ones. I know there's a couple yeah. different ones Let's that see. people play. Yeah, um, not a tabletop player, but like of, books and uh, shit. Card gaming, like Magic the Gathering, Ooh. people have asked me about. Let me put it to you this way: No, um, <laughs> at least in my circles of friends, those things were not. Why do you have to say that first? Let me put it to you this way: No. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> if you say "let me put it to you this way," you're explaining something a little bit different than just saying "no." You know? <laughs> yeah, something with a little intricacy. Let me yeah. put it this way: the best way to explain it is kind of like yeah, uh, that's yeah. You're like, well, no. do I play it? No, but my brother plays it, so sometimes I play something like that. You don't say "let me put it to you this way." No. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> just, just padding the pad. It's all right. Yeah. Let me put it to you this way: No. Oh. Um, at least in my circles of friends, those things were not very popular. Yes. Uh, when I was growing up, it was all about video. Games, yeah, so Street Fighter and yes. arcades and stuff like that. And I didn't really have any friends, so you know, oh, uh -oh. he's drunk in my local circle, which was just me. Uh, <laughs> this is Philip's face before he uh, test, uh, text John Rambo at 3 a.m. right here. About to text John Rambo, hang on a second, Johnny. Remember when we were together? <laughs> but I'm, I'm sorry I treated you this way, Johnny. Uh huh. I have been to events where this stuff is going on. In fact, a lot of the Ooh. conventions I've been attending, this they have this kind of stuff going on. And I do find it interesting. I can understand why it would be fun. I think the the extent of tabletop gaming I've done is playing a game of Risk. And let me put it to you this wow. way: I probably played maybe three or four Ooh. games of Risk total in my entire. Okay. I uh, risk, risk. Philip playing risk. I, I I think he's gonna say he got his ass beat every time. What's your guess of where this story's going? Oh, I I just gonna. I'm, I think that he's gonna say that he didn't really uh, Underst enjoy oh, it, yeah. okay, or understand it even, okay. and then the, the, there was no use in him playing it any more than that. Okay, so. let's go. Entire life, and they took like two days long to finish. Ah, so, too long. Took too long. I don't experience. have time, dude. Yeah, I'm no gonna time, play these dude. games. Fuck it. Why it's addictive? I can understand Schedule's why packed. it's fun. <laughs> I, I gotta eat this bagel it. at 10 a.m. Okay. before the stream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get into these meetings. Guess never eating a bagel. So really eats a new schedule. Hi, Phil. Uh, obviously, your opinion is highly valued when you review games of series such as The Hateful Truth. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 
role playing games of the past. <laughs> Look at him getting, getting all official with his hat placement, too. Yep, yeah, obviously, your put your opinion is very important. You're in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People love your opinion, they take uh, it at uh, face value. <laughs> Look at him adjusting his hat. And it's right. also obvious that you loved role playing games of the past. <laughs> <laughs> we love RPGs. RPG Overload was our favorite time. I could time. be wrong, but it yes. seems that what people are saying is that for some reason you dislike Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, what's wrong My with that? My question is, what exactly do you, what exactly you could do you just dislike? put this now. Yeah. Like you could just put this in one of the pre-streams. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Right, so why doesn't he like Final Fantasy VII? I don't know this. Well, Final Fantasy VII. He was young, dude. Uh, <laughs> it was a great art. Even pixel pixelized style. Uh, yeah. Was the mini hateful truth about the game. That's by what's the way, up, so too. Pixelation. <laughs> responded. to having answered this. That's from TSF2. So yes, I'm finally going to answer it. I'm not going to do a mini hateful truth because it's going to take too long. But I will yeah. say this. Well, mini means you could be short, but all right. The Final Fantasy series of games when Whoa. they were going through the Nintendo and the Way SNES off the charts this, here. You know, this evolution. And I really feel Whoa. that at that time of Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger was the best time for RPGs. There were other series as well that were going what on. What axis the same is time the chair that on? Were really the swivel good. styles. Yeah, that's a good question. What is. He, he can, he's going to have to start coming up with more letters. He can roll it around. <laughs> XYZ isn't yeah. enough. Uh, <laughs> he, can roll around. Yeah. he can roll it back and forth while he sways. So that's kind of... Uh, just di Lunar. There were all these different uh, role playing games going on at the same time that were really high quality. Yes. And then, all okay. of a sudden, wow. Final Fantasy makes... Oh, pick and wipe. Really high quality. Pick, and pick, then, pick. all of a sudden, wipe? Final Fantasy right. makes this leap. Looks like that was an arm wipe, but we'll let it go. To the PlayStation. And it was a giant announcement. It was, a it was actually re uh, uh, released on 7 7 two, 1997. So it was like a demon. Oh, yeah. It has a play oh, on numbers. Skyrim oh, style. Final Fantasy, 7, Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> So you start playing it, and let me put it to you this way. I think what? a lot of people hold Final Fantasy 7 on a pedestal. Let me put it to you this way. No. Because it was the first major <laughs> RPG to ever be in 3D, meaning that 3D graphics, not 2D drawn graphics. Ooh, hi. Um, it was the first CD based. I thought Final that wasn't Fantasy. even real. Okay. <laughs> Literally doing the impossible. Um, and it was on the PlayStation, which was an insanely popular <laughs> system at the time. Like everyone, you have to get the PlayStation, you have to play Final Fantasy no, definitely. 7. Definitely. Okay? I really think that it was overly hyped. Couldn't I think really. that in a lot of people's uh -oh. minds, Final Fantasy VII was actually the first Final Fantasy they ever played. And because of that, they hold it up on this pedestal that this is the best role-playing game ever made. Ooh. Okay? There are people who will say that, that Final Fantasy VII is just the best one out of all of them. It just is. And you ask them why, oh, well, the graphics and the story and, and this <laughs> so, game. So, other typical reasons people like games. Oh. Yeah. How, how dare they? The same reasons the DSP <laughs> would use to describe any other game that he likes. The uh, graphics and the story because those are the only two things that he ever seems to care about the gameplay be damned yeah well how could we say this is a negative i don't know how where we're going here play element that gameplay element i grew up earlier than that with the earlier final fantasies with final fantasy four and six in particular, oh which shit two dude <laughs> four and six yeah. in the united states at the time I thought the story was great. You had a m multitude of characters, Ooh. major story arcs. Nothing twist. that fi no, Final Fantasy didn't, didn't have any of those that stuff, right? No major story arcs, no characters. Okay, I, I see what he's saying here. Final Fantasy does not have characters or story arcs. Turns Final Fantasy. Couldn't know less about Final Fantasy if I tried, dude. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. Like not one iota of information. Oh no, that's a good one. Crudy says back in ALT's day, it was just called Fantasy. I'll get that's a nine out of ten. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> one of the longest, interesting RPG plots that doesn't drag out. That's the other thing about it. It was perfectly paced, never dragged out or felt like it was taking too long. And uh, you get emotional attachment to those characters. Oh, no one got emotional attachment out of Final Fantasy VII. Definitely not. That never happened. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, that VII. never happened. <laughs> one of the biggest deaths in gaming history. No, yeah. no one cared about her. No one gave a shit about her, dude. Still no one cares about her. Sad. Comparison, the narrative is not that good. Ooh. There's several parts of the game wow. where the story drags out. Several things that are never really explained. Uh, the plot holes. For the first time in a Final Fantasy series, the ending was ambiguous and didn't really explain a damn thing uh -oh. about what happened after you beat the game. And actually became kind of anticlimactic because after that, Final Fantasy games and role-playing games in general started having endings that weren't very good. 
And that was really the first game that kind of did that. Had a, what the fuck did I just see ending? Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy VII started the shitty ending trend that was very popular. <laughs> People <laughs> loved it. They wanted to replicate it as much as possible. Uh-huh. Shitty ending started with Final Fantasy VII. Big up. Well, you know, I thought I was going to get more than that. Especially ah. after the ending of Final Fantasy VI, which is like fucking 20 minutes long. Explains what happens to every character after the game. An amazingly emotional ending. And then they just throw it all away with Final Fantasy VII. Ooh. But it really feels like they we were trying to Final do. Fantasy VII. I know. Maybe that's why he's not playing it. Is they were trying to push the series in a different direction, the direction that it's gone in now. Amazing they lost their way, dude. presentation. <laughs> amazing art direction. Good, okay? good, yes. Tweaked the gameplay Ooh. to the point where they think it's good, even though the fans might not agree. What? But oh. kind of going in its own direction and ignoring the fact that you, that the story, the characters, these are the major, major focuses of role-playing games at that time, that those should be the focus of the game. And I really feel that what? the game suffered uh, because of that. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I got confused. Can I'm we lost. talk about Final Fantasy VII again? What are we talking about? There's no. <laughs> I think there's a group of people who this was their first role playing game. Yeah. Because of that, they hold it on a pedestal, especially because since Final Fantasy VIII was fucking horrendous. Final Fantasy VIII, probably by far the worst Final Fantasy game in the series. It was just horribly. That has horrible. nothing to do with Final Fantasy VII here, sir. But go ahead. Horrible story. Okay. Horrible. Everything about it was horrible. Okay? okay. Yes. Back to Final Fantasy VII, please. So. Having that, Even though people would argue that's point two, but I'm trying to get to the answer here. The first 3D Final Fantasy, I think it's just... It's I'm trying to nail them down. <laughs> we got to get, we gotta get one way yeah. or another here. Uh-huh. People just like it so too much, you know what I mean? And uh, it's funny. Like it too again, much. Because, you know, I, I get the feeling a lot of people would think, oh, it's the best thing ever played those classic games. And then if they were to play them today, they probably wouldn't like them because, oh... Uh, Oh, I don't really like the graphics. They're 2D, you know? <laughs> oh, the gameplay is kind of repetitive and boring. Yeah, but that's what JRPGs were back then. You had to walk, fight repetitive enemies and grind, but that was part of the the mm. enjoyment of the game because you leveled up, you gained new abilities and spells by going through the grind, mm. so it was rewarding. Okay. It wasn't like a lot I'm ready for this answer to be done. I don't know what we're today, doing we now. Go through fights for the sake of I just don't know why we're being you. upset about it, in all honesty. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's what it used to be, but people like different things, and you should respect their opinion, DSP. That's what you tell us all the time in the modern day, so... I don't know why uh, we can't just say, like... Uh, why we bring all this other nonsense into it? Like, now we're talking about Final Fantasy VIII, how that sucks, too, and it started this whole trend. Like, what do you think about Final Fantasy that's bad, specifically? But we cannot hear that. We have to hear all this. Oh, they have a ambiguous ending that started this trend of a thousand ambiguous endings now. Kill time. What was even the back. question? Yeah. Like, wasn't it like favorite Final Fantasy six? That was the answer. <laughs> Why did we do everything else? In those days, there was a purpose to it. So this okay. is why we won't get into any questions because we spend all day doing this shit. I'm not saying it's a bad game. <laughs> okay, but I'm just saying I think that it was massively overhyped and that people give it way too much credit. Okay. Because I really think that the story, Got it. the narrative, the pacing, the gameplay, and the characters of the previous Final Fantasy games, four and six in particular, were actually better than oh. Final Fantasy VII. And people just give Final Fantasy VII way too much credit simply because it was 3D. <laughs> Ooh, the graphics oh my God. 3D. You know, there's only so much you can lend. You, you can Coming from the biggest graphic tour to date. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh, this question is from Gene Gene Who, and the question is: You gave the previous YouTube uh, format a negative two out of ten in your Ask the King episode. Now, what she's talking about is back in 2009. <sighs> YouTube forced a new format. Back in 2009, literally channel. three years oh, ago. Which was the previous layout to the one that you see now? Yeah. A negative two, because I said not only is it confusing, it takes away functionality, and you force it down everyone's throat. Yes. Negative two. Okay, that's how I reviewed it in Ask the King, or um, awesome. in um, not Ask the King. We watch in, that uh, on my own stream. I remember. We oh, took a look at it. It's, it's a bad uh, video. <laughs> so let me continue the question now. Now okay, just please. bitches and complains the whole time. Format. What score do you give it, or are you going to do a hateful truth on it? I actually personally. The new YouTube layouts, I have, there's pros and cons. The pros are, it's actually at a glance easier to see what a person's doing. You can see all of their recently uploaded videos, you can see all of their most frequent playlists, and you can lay it out to the point where it kind of makes sense. Holy shit. So he has, somehow he has timestamps on this one. And mm-hmm. we are here about this fucking, we are on this question for four more fucking minutes. Oh my god. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. At the excited. same time, 
All There's right. some bugs. That I are might still have not to. Out. For example, <laughs> you can't make your featured video your most recently uploaded video because if you do, YouTube. Oh no! Do, you can't make your featured video the most recently uploaded. Why? So obviously it's not live yet. So that's a huge bug they've never fixed. Okay. They um, never fixed it, but dude. But the thing I really <laughs> dislike about it is everyone's channel looks exactly the fucking same. At least with the previous format, you have color options, fun options, you change the whole layout, you can do different things. You can do that. Actually, based on the background of the channel, you can change the face gray and white and looks the fucking same. I don't know if it's easier for YouTube. Maybe it'll be easier on search. I don't know the purpose behind it, but I really don't like the fact that they did that. I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't hear nothing. Unfortunately, I expect this to be off. I probably do the channel layout being a 7 out of 10. There's a lot of positives, but the visual appeal is blah. And there's 20 bugs, and they still force everyone to start with the same, so I just read those Okay. Next question. All right. Sounds good, dude. I'm 40. I love video games and found your channel about a year ago and I've never stopped watching. Oh, Favorite God. Favorite playthroughs of your Fallout <laughs> well, At 40, you found Phil, oh, this level, Phil, at 40 years old and you're watching every gameplay video? Oh, I man. I found your about a year ago and I've never stopped watching. Okay, definitely. Favorite playthroughs of your Fallout and Elder Scrolls. My question is, besides the DLC for Skyrim, are you planning on doing any more side content before the DLC? Um, and that is from Cajun0816. Um, the bottom line is this. Yes, Ray? I, I realized that I didn't do absolutely everything when I played Skyrim. There are a couple things I left out. I know there's a Bard's Guild. There's a couple missions where you become the true leader of the Thieves Guild and such, and I didn't do that stuff. Yeah, what's up? Come and on, he dude. didn't even do all of the important content. Why? Yeah. But for the most part... Bard's College, super I important. I completed almost every single... Back, back, back. I, I did complete every <laughs> major quest, and I almost completed most of the, of, the, of the side stuff. To go back at this point... There wouldn't really be that much left to do besides try to hunt a bunch of dragons and, like I said, do those handful of quests. Yeah. I really think my time's better spent playing stuff I've never played before. Uh. And not to say that I didn't enjoy Skyrim. Skyrim is my longest playthrough ever, clocking in at almost 400 parts. Yes, because I, you had the most views of – that still has the most views of any – Playthrough doesn't, I believe. Did as much in that as game it? as I That's actually kind of baller stuff. Yeah. To do. And I think now that I've kind of like put a nail in it, you know what I mean? Put a Does nail in I'll it. I'll never go back? No. If there's I'm a, a DLC, slut for I'm that never... era of Bethesda games, I won't lie. So. <laughs> put a nail in it. I believe this is again him mixing, mixing like phrases, idioms, you know, he always does this. Put a nail in it. Maybe you want to say like what? You could put the nail in a coffin, yes, but you can't. I was just... gonna say put the put the nail in the coffin. Is I thought I thought that was the say. To a... just like seal it up and be done with it. Put a nail in it. All right, we put a nail in. I it. thought that was it. Well, no. I really don't. Uh, see I'm it. just disregarded. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, put a put, me, put a pin in it. Put I a guess, pin in it. Hey, that's correct. But we're not looking for that either. Put a pin in it is like you know. Wait, we're gonna put something on hold for a second. We could also scratch the tip of the iceberg. Yes, we got that on Wednesday. Scratch the tip of the iceberg. Oh, oh did you? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's on Wednesday, pick, pick, <laughs> scratch the tip of the iceberg, dude. If there's a DLC, I'm definitely going back. But I really don't see any reason for me, unlike Fallout, where when I was playing the Fallout games, I definitely skipped a lot of the content of those games. But yeah, um, Skyrim was uh, uh, the highest viewed uh, ever month of his uh, of the WSP gaming was from Skyrim, that uh, release. That release month was his biggest viewed uh, month of his entire YouTube existence. Worth it for me to go back. So, oh uh, yeah, I think people want to see it. Wouldn't be a bad idea to keep playing more, but you know. Back and try to do those things. At this point, I don't see myself going back to Skyrim. I think I did as much as I wanted to do in the game. I completed the vast majority of the quests that are interesting. Cat never so feels this way. She's always back. excited for yeah. more. Radiant Quest, she loves them. She'll keep doing those all night. You know, Radiant Quest, they like just put different shit to steal and like. The same ten people's houses, but she'll keep doing them. She loves them. <laughs> Anything oh, not yeah. to Me and Cat are the same in that fashion. I just like to go from place to place, man. Yeah. I, like I said, <laughs> slut for it. Hey, they got me. Oh, boy. A lot of people asked about this. Uh oh. Hey Phil, around the time of this post, L. I. Joe, who is by the way a competitive Street Fighter player, is being talked to, talk to by Brazzers about a sponsorship. If you don't huh? know what that is, Brazzers is a porno website. What? 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 <laughs> oh my God, he pig explained porno, dude. He says porno and then pornographic. What? I mean, uh, what's Brazzers? I don't even know what he's talking about, what's, you guys. Wait, wait, what's I wasn't porno? born. No, <laughs> hang on. If you don't know what that is, is a porno website. Pornographic, okay? <laughs> Pornographic. <laughs> Pornographic. I mean, there's, there's boobs here, okay? There's boobs there. Do you feel it should be? It should matter who wants to sponsor a player, events, etc. No. Also, would oh, you take? Actually, oh, okay. No. All right. Here's a good. Here's a good poll. So the question kind of is. 
you hear is it okay it, should you care about the sponsor right and would you take a sponsor from browser so i'll just go to the second part would you do you think philip would take a sponsorship from browsers oh, well it, how's he going to answer the question we're not no we don't know the truth but it would I, he I take a sponsor from browsers yes I don't think so. I think he's going to say that he would really have to consider who he takes a sponsorship from because he's not a sellout style. Uh, um, and okay. that you should only take sponsors from companies that you would uh, die for or something. You, you okay. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you have to really think about it. Yeah, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I was trying to look at um, this guy, L.I. Joe's. Uh, also, what he's going, he's been up to. Um, he's had some okay finishes at some tournaments. Evolution, he got fifth. 2016 Evolution, he got fifth place finish. A Street Fighter Pretty cool, Five. Dude. Cool. Uh, he got some lower finishes in Evo. Uh, he got oh 2023. He won in Twitch Rivals, the Street Fighter Six Legacy Showdown. He won. He got he had between fifth and eighth place there. So he's still doing stuff uh, on, on, in Street Fighter. So big ups, Li Joe. Here we go. Take an offer from a porn company if they wanted something yeah. similar. Not competitive gaming. I exactly, would if any porn companies want to hit me up. Yes, I will take a. I'll take a browser sponsorship every day of the week. That's yeah. what's up, tubes. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Divin Elements. Um, here's what's happening. Street Fighter players, and I hate to say this because I know I'm going to take a lot of. Hate. Okay, I hate to say this means I love saying this, and I can't wait to tell you what I'm about to tell you. Keep that in your mind. Let's go. Yeah, it's literally my favorite thing. I couldn't wait to tell this, you guys this. It's insane. <laughs> I didn't want to make this video, but we're going to make this video, guys. <laughs> Street Fighter players are trying to find a way to make a living off of Street Fighter. Yes, and are, is that bad, sir? I, is he going to say this is a negative? Let's hear. And back when I was a competitive player, it wasn't a viable lifestyle. You knew that no matter what, even if you won every tournament, it was still like Justin Wong, who was winning every tournament at the oh. time, still was struggling to make his main main thing. Like, he still needed help. He still... Was part of Empire for a time. Was part of Empire. They were helping him financially. What do you get if you get fourth place, though? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay. Eventually, this started to change, especially with the release of Street Fighter Four. Fighting games started to get a lot more mainstream attention. All of a sudden, sponsors started stepping up. So okay. you had companies like Mad Cats, like Hori. <laughs> you had some third-party companies who were interested in stepping up and sponsoring these players. Now all of a sudden it seems that these there's more than ever there's these people who are competitive in the community and this is it this is what I want to do I just want to play Street Fighter and I want to make money if Justin Wall can do it and if this player can do it Yeah remember thank you for that Instamat the question was would you take a porn site sponsorship Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now we're hearing all about how people want to make money and they're evil. So. I can do it. I can live off of Street Fighter. And so they're basically just grasping at straws for whatever. Oh, um, so see, spaghetti. Sorry for pausing again. Spaghetti Sam says, "Keep in mind, DSP got uh, caught watching black porn in his hotel room." <laughs> Some people are surprised by that. That is a true fact. Um, he did get caught watching porno, and it was uh, it was a black. It was interracial. That's all we know. Is it was interracial porno. Uh, and Phil admitted this on his own channel. It's still up, I believe, but yeah, we're not watching it now. But here we go. <laughs> here we go. And Some so of the lore you uncover during your streams <laughs> is insane. Actually insane. <laughs> and Phil admitted it was interracial. So big ups interracial, Philip. You like you would think this is getting way too deep, but you would think Philip probably would not choose interracial. I would at least. I'm not trying to be racist here. I'm just guessing off Philip's preferences in life, right? But Apparently, interracial porn, he's on board. So big ups for being uh, so inclusive, Philip, in your porno uh, in, in your porno preferences. Big ups. <laughs> yeah, got them out. <laughs> just grasping at straws for whatever they can take. Okay. This company, Brazzers, is a pornographic company. They make porn <laughs> videos. Okay. They do. <laughs> High quality style, 60 FPS. Yes. Uh... <laughs> a pornographic company. Okay. Steps up. To Li Joe, I guess I don't know how the relationship happened because I didn't. Fuck you know, it. they probably sent him an email and said, "Do you want to? We can sponsor you if you'd like." Watch the interview. I don't care about you know interview with the guy who's the head of Brazzers, but yes, Brazzers basically is saying, "Listen, we have money to throw around and we want to advertise." Yes, they probably understand that competitive Street Fighter players and even people who are fans of the competitive scene are young males. Whether they're you think okay, legal or not doesn't really matter. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The competitive scene, guys, they probably understand that competitive Street Fighter players and even people who are fans of the competitive scene are young males. Whether they're legal or not 
doesn't really matter. Whether they're legal or not. <laughs> oh, he's worried about the viewers yeah, not being of age. I Oh, uh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't. Yeah, didn't this is the only time he's ever had to worry about that. Obviously, uh, he's worried about those younger people checking out the pornos. Got They're it. They're young males, and this is a way to attract attention to their business. These yes. are the people primarily who pay for porn. So what they're saying is, gee, <laughs> let's advertise. Let's let's sponsor some major major players like Li Joe. Let's even hold our own events. Not to say that the events are going to be full of nudity and titties and porn stars, but let's hold our own events, the Brazzers yeah. Tournament Series, and just get our name out there. Sounds good to me. I'm a it, big fan of this. I like. I won't even yeah. front. Yeah, let's hear This let's... happened in the <laughs> UFC, too. They used to have, like, uh, condom sponsors and dude yeah. wipe sponsorships. And, like, that's how the fighters made their money. That's what's up. Whatever you got to do, man. We're just here for the fun of it. Like, go ahead. <laughs> so let's hear how this is a negative. That's... Mar their marketing strategy for their business. Oh, you can tell he uses AI for his timestamps or whoever's doing this for him. Because as you can see, this one's called Browsers. This timestamp is called Browsers, but it's actually mm. Browsers. So this is an AI style timestamp. Interesting. I didn't know you could do AI style timestamps. I've never done that. Is this automatic by YouTube, you think? I don't know. But it's up to the players themselves. I don't know. I don't know nothing about AI except some. some subtitles that's oh, it. okay we gotta get into that game to decide whether or not this is viable for their image maybe li joe thinks that he could, it's cool to be in a porn industry okay you're <laughs> oh do, do you think he's doing gonna do some movies <laughs> yeah see li joe is working yeah, he's with in uh, the industry yeah he's, he's not in actor. the industry dude what <laughs> Maybe Li Joe thinks that he it's cool to be in a porn oh, industry. Oh, okay? cool! I don't know. I can tell you this from my personal perspective. I, I didn't know when you get sponsored by like a NordVPN, you're in the VPN industry. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean we. I've well, had, yeah, we, come a on, lot people, LT. You're we, clearly not a business <laughs> style. <laughs> We've had many offers from VPNs. We could be in the VPN industry. Pretty hype, dude. I want to be in the VPN industry. I understand. That I have a fan base that's. Yes, some of them are of legal age to be watching porn. Some of them, many of them are not. Oh. Teen, we're talking teenagers. We're talking, you know, kids. We're talking younger people who like video games and they watch my videos because of it. Okay. No, they shouldn't be ha have porn forced down their throat. The porn forced down their throat. All right. So if you have advertising. I'm not going to lie. You can. Yeah. You can what? You, you, I was going to say, you can push porn down my throat. That's yes, what's up, too. Push so. it. I was got to be careful how you say that one. That could be clipped very easily. So you heard it here. Yeah. Atlas does not yeah, want anything well. pushed down his throat. <laughs> That's what he said. Today, here comes up. I appreciate you looking out. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, be careful. That's sponsored by Brazzers and their new series, <laughs> Slap Your Mother Because She's Fucking Hot or something. I don't Whoa, my God. Did you just hear that? Dude, did I you... heard him. I heard him. What the fuck? This is. Oh my god. Oh Wild. my god. Steve, if you're still here. The first thing you think of. Steve, help. Hey. The help. first <laughs> thing you think of is slap your mother because she's hot. What? Rough, but <laughs> that's some rough. You have so many Dodge options. those accusations. <laughs> That's what? I have porn forced down their throat. The, today, here comes uh, The Walking Dead, sponsored by Brazzers and their new series, Slap Your Mother Because She's Fucking Hot or something. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> Slap Your Mother Because She's Fucking Hot. <laughs> oh my God. You can go so many options here, you know, to make it even funny, you know? Bring out, let's bring out, let's bring out the t Tommy 10 inch. Slap your penis around us all because you got a big hog. You know, there's so many options here, but he chose c slap your mother because she's hot. <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to uh, yeah. speak on this. I just point right. laugh style. We're gonna, we're gonna let it go. Well, let's hear it one more time just for just for to be, make sure we got it right. <laughs> by Brazzers and their new series Slap Your Mother Because She's Fucking Hot or something. I don't oh, know, you know. Man. No, that's not something that I'm going to do. The, my content oh. is not direct relation Don't worry, guys. That's not something he's going to do. That company. Okay. I would not accept sponsorship from a company who has nothing to do with the well, same thing. I wouldn't say, oh, Jack Daniels Whiskey. You know, I wouldn't take that as a sponsor because 
you know. That would be a pretty high sponsor, not going to lie. Jack Daniels yeah. alcohol. A lot of my audience isn't old enough to drink, so I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Oh, if he could get a um, Tangare sponsorship, oh all God. of our problems are solved, dude. I'm we telling you. <laughs> I would be hyped for him, low-key. Like, dude, whatever. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really think that... Okay, here here we're going to see him bite us some skin off his finger and hold it in his mouth. I hate to do this to you, everybody. But... The drink, so I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Ready? Bite. Um, Got really it. Think that hold it. Chew it. Yep. To the <laughs> so for Eli Joe, does he really even have an audience? You know what I mean? He doesn't have a YouTube presence per se. He's just a major Street Fighter player. He's looking to make a buck. Yes. He's looking to do this for free. Or quick fuck, quick fuck. Full time. So what's wrong with that? Money off of it. Yes. So for him, all he sees is a paycheck. He doesn't see the actual repercussions. The fact that if uh, you bring porno into the street fight, competitive Street Fighter community, you have a huge fan base of people who watch it who are underage and now are going to be exposed to porn for the first time, maybe. <laughs> Wow, Eli Joe, what power you have! You can in introduce people to porn because of your Brazzers <laughs> Brazzers logo on your stream. Wow, oh man, this is be careful, Eli Joe, with your forty one thousand subscribers on Twitter and your huge following. Careful, buddy. Uh, of course, I'm not that naive. I don't want to be known as the guy who's showing porn. people porn either, though. If I'm going to be real with you, that's not. Uh, but that's, that's not don't a... you think that's not what he's doing, though? Like, if you take a sponsorship. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. But when you say it like that, I'm like, yeah, well. When you say it like that, yeah. But how Philip's saying is, like, if, you, if you're if you sponsoring something, that means you, like, are working for the same company, as he said. You want to be in the, the industry. industry? Yeah, come on. On the internet, but still. It's a conflicting message. I thought Street Fighter was supposed to be a family-friendly environment. Let's bring porn into it. You know yes, what I please, mean? Please. And Evo has already made an official announcement that no, they will never discuss this sponsor. It will not be... Uh, Wesley H. says, didn't Phil get banned on SRK for doing that? Yes, he was banned for uh, a penis joke at the very least. He said uh, it was a, a, a fight stick review thread. And he said, check out my joystick. And it was a picture of a large African-American gentleman with a large penis. That was the joke. But yeah, he was banned for that. Message. I thought Street Fighter Great was joke, to be a, by the way. It was hilarious. Family friendly environment. Everybody laughed and clapped at the You know what I mean? <laughs> and Evo has already made an official announcement that no, they will never discuss this sponsor. It will not be brought up at Evo. It will not be allowed to be discussed at Evo because they're a family friendly environment and they want nothing to do with it. Okay, so, so that's, that's what Evo chose to do, but why can't one individual do it? Personally, myself. Yes. I'm not saying that I'm against porn. I'm not saying that porn is evil. I'm saying that for what I do on YouTube, I understand my fan base what is not people to take. who should be involved with uh -huh. porn. And therefore, I would never expect accept sponsorship. Plus, by the way, I already have a sponsor, Machinima, who's paying me enough that I don't have to worry about making $100 billion and getting sponsored by these companies, okay? That's not happening with these people who are competitive Street Fighter players. That, they're not sponsoring you, by the way. It's a different thing, but all right. So they're kind of yeah, like, that, oh, yeah, I didn't think it was a sponsorship not, style. That's not. This full time, just give me money, whoever it is. And so I think that's what's going on with Li Joe. I don't really. Oh, Frog Frog Machine. That I thought it was. Um, obviously I can't show it, but Frog Machine saying that it was Triforce leak dick pic that was the linked picture joke. I thought it was the buzz cut style gentleman on a couch. I know. I, I also I, thought that was the case. You, so, uh, Frog Machine, he... if that's true, we need to get the right penis in our minds here because I think we're all thinking about different, the wrong penis, actually. It, DM me the penis pics if, yes, if true on please. Twitter. Yes, uh... which one? If it's Triforce, I need to see this. I mean, just for, for lore reasons, obviously. Really know the situation, yeah, as a lore <laughs> enthusiast myself, DM me penis pics. Yes, it's what's please. on tubes. <laughs> Joe. If you don't I, have the exact picture, just send pictures of ones that might look like it. That's allowed too. I, I'll similar, take those. similar style pictures. If yes. you would kindly, thank you. Please. Thank you. Please. Thank I don't you. really know the situation, but I think it's a slippery slope. I think that it could oh. be a negative for the community, a huge negative for the community. Huge, dude, huge. And hopefully, it works out positively and it doesn't blow up in their face. Okay. okay. Hold on, because unfortunately, I forgot to stop. I like that we're talking about blowing up in your face afterwards. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's, well, yeah. that's what you want to watch out for. <laughs> for. It doesn't blow up in their face. Okay. Hold on, because okay. when you're in the industry, that happens a lot. I forgot to stop my, start my <laughs> stopwatch. All right, I have about ten minutes left <clears throat> to get through some questions here. All right. The next question: uh, What got you into video games? Was it a friend, a relative, seeing video game uncle. advertisements? That's what the answer. And that's from right. Ghost Two Prodigy. Calling my uncle, and I believe his uncle was playing Atari or something. Is that it? Yeah, I something remember. like that. Showed yeah. him how to play Pong or something. Yeah. Let's and... hear if we get the true story or something like that. <laughs> 
that's an interesting question with a very simple answer. When I was growing up, my uncle actually Let's had go. all these video my games Lord's on his on computer. Point. He also had cl the classic Atari systems. He had the uh -huh. Atari, uh, I think one of the older ones, and then later he had Played the Atari balls. 7800. <laughs> and I used to play games whenever I went over his house, and that was my first exposure to... And that's a good point, Almighty Goki, Black Doom, saying that he, you know... Rape jokes, I mean, sorry, excuse me, grape jokes in Minecraft Jeez. and uh, all these jokes about, you know, oh, she's laying down, she's asleep, take her shirt off. That's all fine. But a browser sponsorship is bringing, you know, what is it, uh, introducing pe that into the world of people that are young people that shouldn't see that? What's the Yeah, difference? you're going to be in the industry. I yeah. look, man, I never <laughs> follow the pig logic. I'm just yeah. here for the ride. You know, that is, you know, they're both doing, you know, whatever. Video games. Later on, he gave me many of his games, including his Atari 7800. This and, consistency uh, is the thing that you can, that, like, yeah. count on the least when it comes to DSP. Like, never yeah. the same story twice. <laughs> good point. Exactly. Good point. I kind of got hooked from there. Then started going to arcades. Wow, these arcade games look way better than the whole console stuff. Then the NES came out, and that was history. I got hooked. Ah, okay. uh, look. You're like right. A, an addiction. Yeah, next well, I know the lore uh, a little bit. <laughs> let's see here. I lost my place. Come on. Here we go. Next question is from Thin Unit. And the question is, <laughs> hey, Phil, I don't know if it's just me, but... Finn. Speaking of units, we have a question from Finn Unit. <laughs> it seems like over the past hundred years, musical themes in games have really been de-emphasized as part oh God, of the game who cares? Looking back at some games from the 90s and early 2000s, such as Wolfenstein, Doom, Unreal Tournament, Command & Conquer, well, they all had epic know, man. music and themes. Now it just seems so rare to find a game with great music. Yes, yeah, music agree? sucks now, dude. Yeah, game music sucks now. With the sentiment, how important do you think it is having great music in a game to enhance the gamer's experience? 100% yes, I agree. And the, the basic example I can give you is this. Back then... Oh, God. It, what the fuck are we okay. doing with her? What the fuck? <laughs> His eyes, dude! Oh. <laughs> oh, He's waking up! Oh, mama! <laughs> holy back. shit! <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> This is it stays wide so long. I agree. And the, the basic the scared of music, man. is this. Look at this! <laughs> Holy fuck! You know, these ditties that... Oh, I ditties. by heart some of the music from... Shout outs to oh, ditties. Shout out Diddy. For real, for real. That's what's up, dude. <laughs> shout outs to ditties. Oh, do I have Tifa's ditty still available for us? This did Tifa's di Oh, no. That's cat. That's cat. Uh, hey, get that out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> who's, who's your favorite... Okay, Atlas, who's your favorite female in Street Fighter Six? Whether for personality, oh, looks, whatever you want, it's all fine. I'm a I'm a jury style. Not gonna oh, lie, okay. everything about that color palette uh, is gonna ruin my life, and that's what's up. I do have a <laughs> okay, so I have something for you then. Alt oh, art. You alt, were ready with it, alt huh? Style. <laughs> alt art style. I couldn't get one of the normal ones yet, but yeah, there you go. Not not the best, but are right, you want a Chun Li request? All right, Chun Li. I could do Chun Li. I think Chun Li came out even better. Reminds me of Chun. Chun. Hey, hello to Cat Chun. <laughs> Looks like I'll let, I'll leave her here. Actually, here we go. Stay here. People ask for you. I'll put it. Okay. <laughs> tunes, you know these ditties that I can still remember by heart. Some of the music from the role playing games I play from Doom. I can. Is there a less cool way to do that song? Yeah, that's the song. Hell so, yeah, so, I love that. <laughs> I can still remember by heart some of the music from the role playing <laughs> games I play from Doom. I can... Yeah, the snapping of the fingers. <laughs> you know, classic tunes that as you play these games, they classic tunes. Nothing makes me want to rip Today, and tear more. Yeah. Just <laughs> snappy. Orchestral soundtrack, generic bullshit in the background, and let's face it. Uh -oh. How many games can you say? Oh, I remember the the theme from that game. You know what I mean? There's a, a lot of them. Uncharted's oh. main theme is really catchy, but how many times during the actual game do you hear the Uncharted theme besides the title screen? What? You know what I mean? Oh. Most okay, of the game whatever. is orchestral I don't care. music. A lot of these games are just this. going for that because they're trying to become bigger productions. To which I'm a big fan of game like themes. Movies. I won't even front. Yeah. What? I personally think that music 
grandpa should thank be you. more of an emphasis in these games. Okay. They really need to hire musicians to write custom soundtracks for these games. Let's face it. Right now, we've got video game cover bands of 8-bit games, 16-bit games. How many video game cover bands do you think are going to be in 20 years playing the Halo theme? Zero. Oh, oh. oh dude. What? We had high school kids singing Halo theme in the bathroom, bro. It's such a phenomenon. God. Come on now. Dude. You want to talk about you want to talk about a shitty take? Shitting on the Halo theme? You're out of your goddamn gourd, dude. Bad example there, man. Holy oh, shit. God. This is as bad as Minecraft, if you ask me. That's a crazy thing to say. How many people are <laughs> okay, let's let's do it again here. <laughs> they really need to hire musicians to write custom soundtracks for these games. Let's face it. Right now, we've got video game cover bands of 8-bit games, 16-bit games. How many video game cover bands do you uh. think are going to be in 20 years playing the Halo theme? Zero. <laughs> all of them. Okay. Yeah, right. so, Literally all of really them. Face it, Marty the O'Donnell did a great more job. And more like a movie production than anything else, and it really has suffered. Okay. Next Whatever. question is from Deccan or D3K3N. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And he says, um, I, I, there's so many options I could share with you of bands covering that. Uh, let's just give you one from, let's just give you one here. Oh, there's the packed standing so room high. panel. I love, I love the Halo theme so much. <laughs> here we go. Look at these assholes. What are they doing, you fuckers? Playing instruments in the forest? This is lame as <laughs> shit, dude. This, this theme sucks. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't I don't listen to this on the way home sometimes. This, this song's ass. This song's ass, dude. No, this song sucked. This is where they lost their way. All right, let's go. Oop. Yeah, Bungie lost their way when it came to hiring <laughs> Marty, that's for sure. Yes. Phil, if you were in Mortal Kombat, what would your fatality be? Oh, uh, would probably be... Okay, I'll just leave it at scat joke or not. Okay, so okay, how about this? Now let me make it a little yeah. bit more broad. Scat or genital joke? Yes or no? That's it. Okay, so scat uh, or genitals? Genitals count too. Can I can I get a five second rewind or so? Okay, can we, I, can, can, we can, we can, we can. I will. Let me get the let me get the poll going here. It's a very important poll. Start the poll. Say, I don't, I don't, I don't, if I'm going to answer, I want to have a, okay. a good guess of what we're saying. I will saying stop here. it at the same point. Let's listen to the question. This question be production from Deccan or D3K3N. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And he says, Phil, if you were in Mortal Kombat, what would your fatality be? Okay, there you go. If you were in Mortal uh, Kombat, what would your fatality be? Gen okay, you say genital. Okay. All right, he's going general. Yeah, you're going yes then. Yes, Scat yes, yes. The answer is okay. yes, general. Here, here we go. Uh, we'll probably be re involved repeated ball shots. Uh, uh, possibly ripping let's off. Let's go, the gang. Don't ever doubt down me. Down I'm let's up. <laughs> um, and if we're a woman, well, I don't know. I didn't even think about it that much. Okay. <laughs> I liked ripping off the testicles, though. Um, oh, all right, the I really part. like that part. <laughs> I just like handling their balls. I'm going to be up front with you, tubes. Balls I like the is balls. my thing. I like Don't touching the balls. Question from the forums, then we're going to go to Twitter questions. This question is, hey, Phil, have you ever met a wrestler, be it from WWE, TNA, or any other promotion? If you did, can you tell us how the experience went? And that's from Abenha1. I know this. Stevie Richards while working at Circuit City. That's, that's the correct answer. Let's see what he says. Uh, the answer is yes. I actually met. Steven Richards. Hell yeah. He Let's go, ALT. <laughs> Maniac style. Don't question it. The best buy for time. <laughs> oh, best I'm buy. Sorry, was Circuit City. No, no Circuit today. City. No, I was no, right. Let's go. Best buy. He <laughs> randomly came into the store. And I said, excuse then he took me, it back, you know, though. I, I, I apologize. Oh, Steven, uh, no, LV, oh, you know Steven Richards? Sure, I'll show you Steven Richards. It's a wrestler style, isn't it? Very hot. Very cute guy. Phil would be all over him. As he probably and somebody was. touched his girl's ass. That's uh -huh. the lore. And he was like, hey, brother, don't do that. And then he got uh, oh, yeah. buried or something. This is what he looked like inside of the Circuit City. Here we go. Best Buy, came in like he that. randomly came into the store. And I said, excuse me, you know, I, don't, I'm, I apologize if, you know, this is out of place, but are you Steven Richards? He said, yes, I am. I said, wow, I'm actually a fan of yours. We shook hands. And first of all, the guy's fucking tall as hell. He doesn't look tall on TV. The guy was towering above me. And I said, I'm a fan. And, you know, I've been watching you for a long time on ECW, <laughs> also on WWE. But I noticed recently they're not using you. Like, you're not on TV. What the hell happened? Here we Where go. do you hear this? This is uh -oh. like a true story. I swear to God, he says, 
Well, Phil. By the way, this is a little odd, okay? So I know people talk about Philip's height, right? And Philip says he's 5'11", I believe, is his official height, or six foot. Man, let style. I, I think he's 5'11". Yeah, he said, well, Stevie Richards is 6'1". You wouldn't tap. Is that that's not a towering over situation, is it? Well, I, okay, I won't lie to you. Okay, I am ahead. six foot, not yeah. a short king. For a, I hate to break everybody's heart, not a not a short king. But my, I got a friend who's six two. I would say he towers over me. Okay, that's okay. just because not a lot of people are 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 taller than me on an average day. Okay, at six foot. Okay. So if we're gonna be real here, sure, whatever. Okay. If, okay. if you're five eleven and somebody's six two, six three, yeah. Sure, that's fine. Whatever. A lot of people are pointing out some I know. nuggets of truth that you might be short of. Yeah, that, but yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll keep going. We'll keep moving. On. Here's what yeah, ink, ink is a I'm, whole ass bitch. And that's people true. say I'm old too. It's really ridiculous. It is. We're, we're, we're the same age, Christmas. and I'm definitely not old. Uh -huh. Christmas party. One of the VPs of WWE got drunk and said something about my wife, mm -hmm. and I punched him in his fucking face. Hell yeah! <laughs> right, that definitely uh, happened. And now the funniest part about this: uh, I wonder if it was the vice president, their talent relations, John Laurinaitis, and he got drunk and he said something about his wife. I don't know uh -huh. if it was John Laurinaitis or not, but that's pretty Which funny. Is that? Basically, I don't know. So, VP gets drunk, says something ridiculous about his wife. Yeah, I don't know. Gets punched in the face, and they took him off TV. And actually, I this story gets changed later to, um, I believe it was spanking his ass or something. Like they touched his ass. I don't remember. This story gets changed around in the future. After that, he never really went back to mainstream TV, and then eventually was released by I'm WWE. So that was a crazy story that he told me. That it's funny that that uh, that question was asked because that's a pretty good story. Oh. Very good story, dude. I love that one. That's my favorite. Masterfully told. All right, get out of here, Stephen Richards. Last chance, Stephen Richards stands. He's getting out of here. Here he goes. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> questions. I know we're definitely running out of time now. We are. But uh, let's get into them. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ah, from ah. from I Ian Foster. I apologize if I, I pronounced that wrong. But oh, my God. Ian Foster. Oh, my God. It's Ian. It's I-A-N. <laughs> Yeah, e it's I A N. He can't say Ian. Is it I Ann Foster? <laughs> Shout outs to I Ann Foster from Ian Foster. I apologize Ian. If I that wrong, but... Ian. Shout outs Ian from Ian Foster. I apologize Ian. if I pronounced that wrong. Hello but... Ian. So, what are your thoughts on Yoshinoru Ono stepping down? And, uh, with from within Capcom as like uh -oh. the head of fighting games, and will it have an effect on fighting games? If you haven't oh, heard, Jesus Christ, horrible! During the course of the past yeah, month, it was announced that oh, Yoshinori question. Ono, who everyone talks about. Um, everyone who pretty, talks about him. Much has been, they say, oh, he's the creative head oh, of the cool. fighting game division oh. of Street Fighter. They say, oh, he was responsible for oh. Street Fighter Four. No, he wasn't responsible. This guy doesn't know how like air, the people air who quotes fucking asked all. for Street Fighter Four for a decade are responsible for Street Fighter Four's success. But that being said, he was the head of the problem. Hey, big ups, obviously. Since then, he's been heavily promoting every fighting game coming out from Capcom. Recently, he's taking an awful lot of heat for. The fact that Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out only 9 months or 8 months after the original Marvel 3, for the fact that there's been like 10 versions of Street Fighter 4, and now Street Fighter Cross, Cross Tekken comes out with these gimmicky yeah. gems that no one in the competitive community asked for or wanted. Gems, you say? So I'm interested. I'm my interest in, in the fighting game scene. And I'll Ono spend has like $11,000 or whatever in the first sudden, 3 months the for gems. Announced, he's very ill. He's in the hospital and he's stepping down from being the head of the fighting game division of Capcom. To which everyone's saying, hmm, isn't it funny that at a time when he's taking massive criticism and flack and negativity for all the things that have been going on with fighting games, he mysteriously gets sick and now can't do it anymore. A lot of people are saying that maybe... No, that's not Capcom, the illness. Is this is not a joke, you guys. Uh, I know. If he's so... <laughs> he's sick and it's funny? Really step okay. down and that they would do it in a respectful way. He's got a disease, kind of like act, act, act. But That's all point and laugh, I guess. Saying, sales numbers for sure. Street Fighter Cross Tekken are poor compared to previous Capcom fighters. The game's taking a lot of criticism from the competitive community, saying it's a horrible fucking game. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's what's going on with Ono. Will this affect fighting games? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if Capcom's going to continue oh there. Oh my god. There's we don't know anything, dude. Of, uh, if I had a dollar, <laughs> or every time we didn't shit, know something, really I'd never work again.
actually would never work again. In the game, and then say that they're not there, and later on people hack the game and find out they are there, and that they're going to charge later on to unlock these characters. I mean, there's some shady business practices in effect with Definitely. Capcom right now. Oh, absolutely. Hopefully it'll improve. For sure. I don't know if it will. All right, next I should just go into Pachinko, dude. Uh, from M. Byron 24 and he says, uh, what was the motivation for the goatee and slicked hair? It's hard to remember what you looked like without them. Well, I've Ooh, talked about okay. What's, what's the slicked hair motivation? Oh. Slicked that's hair that's motivation. a rough one to call. Um, the goatee, I think we, I think we know the goatee. I thought, fuck, I wasn't can't. the no, goatee I'm to think like? About it, but I can't. Yeah. So the so the goatee. Let me make sure I got my lore right. Since you're here, yeah. yeah. Uh, the goatee is uh, he used to not be able to grow one due to his work, but then he did YouTube you and he was like, well, I'm gonna make a change. This is my change. The the goatee. Yes. But the slicked hair, like he's uh, Italian, and he doesn't want his hair I to be think... all crazy wild. That's my guesstimate. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right about that. I think the hair is going to be like, I just want to do something easy. It didn't take a lot of work, I think. Before, Let's see. I guess I'll say it again. Uh, when I lost my full-time job in late 2010. Oh, yeah. You're right. You um, got it. I said, I want hey. to make a life change. I really did. More enthusiasts so rise up. This is the next phase of my life. <laughs> and being that I was going into business for myself to try and make YouTube into my career, I wanted something to signify a change, and so I started growing a beard. Now, this is something I hadn't done before, because at my job, obviously, if you have an office job, you're supposed to be well-shaven all the time, and to grow this out, it would have <laughs> had to be look like stubble, and it would have looked unprofessional for a while as a... You know, you can, uh, you know, keep that kept, and you, people do have goatees in business environments, actually, you know, it's not unheard of. It, it's but, true. Some of them actually look really good in professional style. Uh -huh. You can't wow. do that. <laughs> so I was never really able to grow a beard like ah. that. BLT, when's and your beard growing? <laughs> when are we getting that? Uh... No, I can't. I, well, last time I had when the when the my favorite, you know, in hockey, I don't know if you didn't think about hockey, but if you make the playoffs, you don't shave if you stay in the playoffs. Oh, was that a the thing? Okay, favorite, big ups. Yeah, yeah, the playoff beard what it's called so one year my favorite team the penguins made it all the way they won the championship so i didn't shave for like those two months and that was the last time i had a beard but uh um, oh yeah it was, it was pretty it, i have a I'm, I'm patchy though that's the negative i have a patchy Ooh, area yeah yeah similar yeah Not that's why i can't grow though, a real so, yeah. beard i only have the the chin <laughs> thing because it's chin mustache yeah. i look like a villain uh -huh. i won't front yes. like that's what's up I, <laughs> give me a top hat i'm ready to go bud <laughs> that's... my my, my so good freak says lesser more than DSP. No, I have my patchiness is like on my under my chin area, so it's like a big hole. That's where it looks kind of it catches your eye. So Philip has it more in the front. I don't have that problem, but mine's on the bottom half. The times doesn't matter. I can grow this out. No one's gonna tell me go shave. I look like a bum, and so I did. And I will. Don't hair, worry, so bud. Secretly, I knew there would be a time when the hair looked weird when it was in the middle before it got long enough. Now that it's long enough, it looks good when it's slicked back. So. <laughs> Wait, I missed the slick <laughs> back lore. And so I did, and then my hair subsequently. I knew there would be a time when the hair looked weird when it was in the middle before it got long enough. Now that it's long enough, it looks good when it's slicked back. So it kind of signifies it looks good my slick change back. From, uh, who told know, him that? Did mommy tell him that? Mommy Vernell. Who's when she was combing it back, she was earth? like, this looks so good, honey. What human on earth that slick back looks cool, you know? It's very hard to do, and you know? Say, and go <laughs> oh, it's a very hard look to pull. You, like, actually, if you're not, like, mob style, don't slick your hair back. Don't do it. Yeah. It's not a good look, you I promise. Have to, you have to be well put together everywhere else. And then people just like, all right, well, he's kind of big. He looks good. I'll, I'll put up with the bad hair. But anyways, Kevin says, hey, only professional magicians and villains have goatees. <laughs> True. This is true. I think that's a true statement. I went into a, a new statement. phase of my life where I'm self-employed, where I'm independent, and that's really what it symbolizes, and that's why I did it. <clears throat> okay. Definitely. Thank you. Um, let's Beautiful. see. From Mr. Nader 136, what is the worst game you've ever played in your life? This is probably going to be the. Oh. Um. um is he in 2012? Uh did Epic Mickey come out yet? Oh, Epic Mickey. That might. Be epic Mickey release date. I feel like we talked about it a couple episodes ago. Or 2010. So. Oh yeah, 2010. Ooh. That's possible. All right. So that's a 2010. I I'm gonna think he's gonna say, ET, the Atari oh, game. Oh God! If he says ET, e I want to scream. That's so cringe. Yeah. 
All right, so we're we're locking we're locking Atlas in on Epic Mickey. I'm gonna say yep. ET, the Atari game, because it's gonna be like you know he learned it from AVG. The same answer that a lot of people have said who were around at this time. ET for the Atari. Oh, oh yeah! No! Oh, oh, is the worst boom. game I've ever played. ALT, absolutely go stunning on my <laughs> shit. Damn! <laughs> Come on! Don't I thought Epic Mickey was yeah. goaded. <laughs> ET is the right answer. Round this time. ET for the Atari. I believe it was 2600 is the worst game I've ever played. Doesn't even know what, a, what console it was on. A lot of people have asked that video game. <laughs> pre -watch, I did not pre-watch this. I don't know if he ever Who's pre-watching uh, this? I, I, I'm buying on. into that. Who's he pre-watched. He pre-watched. Gang. Uh, <laughs> yeah. ALT's pre-watching. Pre bullshit. He's cheating. <laughs> yes. He might have actually, but that is the worst game. It really is. It's fucking awful. Yes. Um, okay. Yep, see. you learned that from AVGN. Good job, buddy. All right. Next. Oh, all right, from Big Nas 2011, he says, What's up, DSP? How's the quality of games been so far this year? Compared to last year, do you think it's better or worse? By far, it's worse. Last year, we had some pretty good games by this point, including like Dead Space 2, Portal 2. I'm trying, like, there were, I remember early last year, there were some really good games. We got two on the list. All right, it's better than one. <laughs> Dead Space we two, usually Portal get one. Two, end of Mass list. Effect 3. <laughs> there have been a couple sleeper hits for me, like Darkness 2 and Binary Domain, but not any like standouts. A lot of games I think people thought were going to be great really fizzled, like Re uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. So for this year at least, oh. it's been slow. I don't know anybody who thought um, that was going to be a year, I fully expect it to pick up later in the year, especially next month with Diablo 3, Max Payne 3. There's some big stuff coming out that I think will reinvigorate everything, but it's definitely been a slow start. Okay. All right, so that's Whatever. it for this episode of Ask the King. Hope that, Dang. you know, had some interesting answers. That was not as bad as last week, but still not great, I'd say. I, like yo, I had a blast, not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this, this stream, this style. stream, 10 out of 10. I'm giving it his actual content. I'm giving it a three. Yeah. Right. That you enjoyed okay, the episode. <laughs> Remember, if you want to submit questions. For All right, so is he still streaming his birthday? I really don't want to watch birthday. One. Is he? Go to He's, the King of Hing.com uh, the forums. There's I don't a thread so. there for Ask the King. You could already put your questions up for the next. Oh, slap your mother. That highlight for sure. Thank you for bringing that up. Because slap your mother. That's going to be on Twitter later. Be ready to see that. I got to clip that shit Please. out because that is intense. Slap your mother because she's hot. Both sides of that are fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Both for sure. Sides. For sure. There's not a justifiable slap way. Because <laughs> yeah. like, she's hot. Slap your mother's <laughs> fucked up. And then because she's hot, it's fucked up. <laughs> next week or next month. And also, I ask, uh, I let you submit your questions on Twitter the day of. So, I let you submit your thanks questions. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope this was informative Thank and you so fun much, for you. Philip. And I'll see you next month for Ask. He's still alive. Fuck it. I'd rather go to T, T. Carter lore, to be honest. But me too me too let's do it i'm on here like fuck it fuck it fuck it all right here we go this is from golden triangle gaming second edition big ups three years ago philip is talking about the one the only that just Carter. don't let's need go. to exist Rest in peace. people with absolutely no aim or or drive or purpose to their life I don't know. He's, he's probably trolls. i, troll I assume is. you're not gonna believe <laughs> this yeah, probably <clears throat> so here's the story go. where do you hear this okay well, okay. so wait it was either that day when we were at that tournament at the mall that t had not done too well in, and he had gone to hang out with his other friends or the day after that was never cleared up what day it was but like damn I told after you, a loss i didn't after even know that. that's rough neighborhood, man but he couldn't <laughs> afford to live in a good place uh t sir was a teenager so usually it's the parents yeah it's situation not that he that couldn't afford <laughs> yeah it's usually yeah. Harris he had a say in it. Yeah. Uh, Mom, could you please step it up here? Uh, you. <laughs> she lived in a Did bad you work more hours, please? I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't yeah. afford to live in a good place. And when, unfortunately, okay. what would happen a lot of the times is that people would drop him off a few blocks from his house because quite honestly... and Did people do that or you did that? <laughs> he didn't want you know to roll I mean? in the hood. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I really want to get that question answered. And we got another Yo, core as, demon I could pull out here, but... <laughs> as a city style, I understand what it's like to not want to go, like, you know, to a certain part of town. But, like, you're dropping your friend off. You, you drop him off, man. You yeah, cannot. You know That's low-key messed up as shit. I can't believe that. A lot, 
a lot of people did that. Uh -huh. His dad, people would drop him wow. off a few blocks from his house because quite honestly, mm -hmm. and this is no uh -oh. exaggeration, he was in one of the worst places to live in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The most crime, okay. drug dealings, shootings, all of that stuff. And he just couldn't move, couldn't move out because that's where his family lived. He yeah, well, that's that goes without saying. What do you? Had to live it just happens like that, man. He doesn't get a say. <laughs> what did you go to buy right? a house? So, people would not even drive up to his house. I was one of the few people when I finally could drive when I was sixteen. Oh, I was the I was oh, the change. Right, right. I was the change I wanted to see in the world. I drove. I braved the storm. It was me, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> willing to drive up to his house at least in the daylight but i knew that at I least in the daylight out of there <laughs> in there the soon as i dropped him off because that was in the nighttime i couldn't okay. see him you know so why don't play with me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh just keep this adam's up constantly for this one apparently what happened <laughs> was just leave him he'd up. gotten dropped off a few blocks away from his house now what i'm telling you are facts based off the police report that i read the other night because <clears throat> Ah, yes, because you're so close to this individual that your facts have to come from where everyone else got their facts, which is the police report. Okay. The police report, mm -hmm. the most informal thing possible that everybody yes. else read. Very yes. cool. So you were definitely very close friends then. I get that. Okay, let's For keep years, going here. As I said, I okay. lived in denial. I lived in denial. I didn't want to know the circumstances around it. I was It was too emotional for me. And finally the other night, I manned up and I looked up the police report. And now I know exactly what happened. Here's what happened. He's walking. Dude, that's okay, crazy. So we're, we're just pig explaining the police report we all could read ourselves. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got it, got it, got it. To me, that's insane. Your friend dies. So when you had like a, a direct link to and you don't even look into what happened when it happened. You just do it, you know, a, couple, a little later. So that's wild. January Rose, big up, says, wait, I thought T. Carter was a meme thing. He actually was a friend of DSP. Now... I, I'm kind of staying away from doing a T. Carter kind of deep lore dive because, you know, it's kind of like, you know. You have to, bud. But I'm sorry. I hate th to tell you. Things, things we know. All right. I can share things we know. The things we know is Philip learned about the death of T. Carter uh, from a the AOL message boards. I know that's a fact. Okay. On the message boards is him. Oh, he died. That's T. Carter. I know him. That's what he literally said. Uh, you know, so he learned about it from... The message boards. Also, T. Carter was much older than Phil. I believe five years older than Phil. Uh, so, I don't know about you, but for me, in that age, especially if I was five years old, young, younger than somebody, I'm not really friends with them. You know, it's kind of tough to be friends with someone that older than you at that age, right? Like, you're not really chilling with twenty year olds when you're fifteen normally in normal situations, right? This is all no, normal not situations. normally. That no, <laughs> yeah. So. I thought it was more than that, right? For the Frog Machine, more than eighty-one. I thought T. T Carter was much older. Anyways, um, the tar <laughs> the Target style bag belonged to T. I mean, that's a theory. But anyways, uh, we do know that Philip, at some point, was around him, right? Because definitely people knew about him in that time, and it did affect people in the fighting game community back then. There is some people that said in the forums and stuff that they like just didn't want feel like playing anymore after it happened because T. Carter was a member of the community that people, he was a really good player and people looked up to him in some way. The thing that where, you know, our boy gets it wrapped into this where kind of as a question is, you know, it seems that T. doesn't get talked about outside of when, you know, there's some money to be made in the situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We're profiting off of this. That, that that seems to be the thing. Every time we need some pity style dollars, we are we're, we're, we're mentioning T. Yeah, and oh, it sounds like I'm I'm delayed. Am I delayed for you? It's, I mean, I know you can't hear that, but I'm not talking over you too much. It must be fine. But anyway, no, no, um, no, no, no. Okay, so let's get to, so and also. Uh, in, a, in a previous uh, touring of the condo, Phil knocks over the Street Fighter figurines that T got to him. And he knocks them over, treats them like... It's not even a big deal. It's like just whatever, right? And also, he, in a different situation, he, we know that he kept those figurines in the closet. You know, which is okay. You want to keep the figurines in the closet. But then when he brought them out later in that big show about cleaning out the closet and he cried to them that's when you start wondering about this you know like 
how much was T a friend? Was T was Phil affected by T dying? I think that's definitely true. But how much of a friend he was to Philip, we're never going to know the truth there. Uh, but it's interesting to look into these things, and maybe I'll do a deep dive someday on that. But everyone, yeah, it, it, it's not my place to choose how much Philip, how much T meant to Phil. That's not for us to judge. But we can look at history and see how what is the proof of them being friends as close as Philip says. Well, I don't know how much is there, but yeah, go ahead. I I understand your hesitancy. That's definitely a subject, but like, there's definitely some strange behavior going on when you lose people in real life. Like, you don't typically behave the way that DSP does when it comes to the the, the time. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. So, it, so, you know, it's it's that we can't uh, it's not like I said, we can't judge how much someone's death affects other people because it affects people all differently. Someone could have met T one time and been really, very sad about it. But it's just how Phil deals with it is a little bit asks a few questions. Right. So anyways. only a few blocks away. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He wasn't looking for trouble. Right. He never had. He wasn't that kind of person. So he's walking home and there's another car from coming from the opposite direction, coming up his street. And the car stops. There's three youths inside the car. Three youths. <laughs> three so my youths? grandfather describes the describes the drive by. Three youths. Can you can you say youths like that? Three youths. Okay. There's three youths. Okay. One of the youths. Oh one of the God. youths. <laughs> one of these youths. Okay. One of the so youths. He has to piss. Yes. Stop the car. I have to piss right now. Now, let me ask you something. What kind of person, what state is a person that they have to piss so bad they can't wait to get to a toilet? You know, an asshole uh, kid. Uh, All right. Good, yeah. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to be I real with saying, you. You might do that. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. You have done hey, that? when you're on a long road trip and you're like, hey, just just pull over. We're not going to make the next stop. I'll be real with you. I hold it for a long time. <laughs> but when it's it's go time, buddy, it's go time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Pull over, By the brother. way, just in case you didn't miss the video, all, all he's doing is talking about a police report. That's all we're doing. There is no inside information, uh, nothing from T's family. This is Philip telling us about a police report we all could read right now on the internet. But yeah, let's keep going. He was either intoxicated, inebriated, whatever it was, okay? Yes. He gets out of the car. That'll help. Literally walks to the sidewalk time go. and begins to piss. It time go. Off of it the time flow. <laughs> <laughs> that line works. <laughs> it's time go. It's time flow. In that dark sea flow song. Okay. Now T doesn't know what the hell's going. This guy's facing. <laughs> okay. Now T doesn't know what the hell's going. This guy's facing. <laughs> you know, a building or whatever. Minding his own business, he's walking down the street. The guy hears him, turns to him, gets startled, pulls out a gun, fires. Four fucking shots. Not one. Not I, now this is so dented. Like, who gives? I don't know. And I, I, I guess it's a tight, soft subject. But why would you? I, I, the number of times someone is shot is of no significance to me. Not once. Not twice. Are you trying to tell an interesting story here or what? You know? Yeah. It, it's it, it's weird once. that he's adding the amount of shots when you're talking about somebody yeah. who's supposedly... You know, or, or hurt by. <laughs> Come on. Fires four fucking shots. Okay. Not one. Where are you, not where are you two, looking at? Four shots. You can get four shots chest. off pretty quickly, so though. Like, let's boom, not, oh, shit, let's not act like. It was intentional. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a detective here. But. <laughs> That means well, oh, it was yes, okay. intentional. It was intentional. So you thought the first one was an accident? When when you shoot someone one time, it might be an accident. It's always an accident. But, That's the way the law uh, reads. I don't know if you're a okay, lawyer style, okay. but but four so, okay. is definitely intentional. Two's a little so I could iffy. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it just cool. goes so up I, the more shoot, shots you get it. I could just so if you shoot somebody once, well, you can't really tell. Was it intentional or not? Who knows? Okay. Got yeah, you got like boom, an 80% boom. chance of it being an accident at that rate. We could, Got it. Got it. We'll play boom, those odds. <laughs> Runs away with his Yeah, they rule one and oopsie doopsie. Jumps. That's, that's, uh... Oh, look, look at this storytelling. Runs away with his dick hanging out. Runs away with his dick hanging out. Jumps awesome. back into the car. I bet that was in the police his report. Tells two friends. His friends are like, what the fuck yep. just happened? He goes, I just shot some kid. Let's go. 
Again, he's t he told us he got this from police report. Do I need to bring that up? Did, was that in the police report? Was that in the police report? Oh, yeah. Then he entered the car and told his friends, hey, let's go. Was that in the police report? <laughs> Please. Kids, kids drive off and that's it. Luckily, okay. people heard it. <laughs> and I These detectives are good. <laughs> They're great. They got, the they got all of the, <laughs> the internal dialogue inside the car afterwards. <laughs> Holy shit. Amazing. Holy the kids shit. drive off and that's it. Luckily, uh -huh. people heard it. And I have to say this. Luckily, people fucking reported it. Because I hate to say it, there's a big problem in the United States of people who do not report this kind of stuff. Reported uh -oh. it. The cops found Yo. them. All right. Arrested them immediately. In the alley. Found the gun. Found everything. And uh, <clears throat> apparently in the heat of the moment in the arrest, okay, yep. they didn't read the guy his Miranda rights. This is going to come into play. So let me give you the whole story, okay? They didn't read this the guy his Miranda rights. Let me tell you it's But they didn't interrogate everyone. They found the gun. The bullets matched the gun. These piss was all over the street. Kind of hard to dispute it when your fucking DNA is all over the street because <laughs> you pissed all over it. Um, he blatantly told both people in the car that he had shot T. And they they both squealed on him. Both of the people in the car told on him and said, yeah. As Damn, soon as he ran back rats. in the car, he said that he shot him. We don't yep. know what the fuck he did that for. Right? Basically, there was a literally a three-ring fucking circus of evidence proving that okay. this guy had done it. Proving it definitively yes. that this guy had done it. Okay, what happens so, next? He gets goes to trial. You know, he's in jail. Goes to trial. Blatant murder, because that's exactly what it is. It's murder. Although it will actually, I believe what it was, aggravated manslaughter. The, the, it's not blatant premeditated murder, because obviously he didn't even know who T was, so it can't be that highest murder charge. It was the one that gives you like, you know, fifty to life or whatever, because you you, you just killed someone with no reason. <laughs> So, That's my favorite sentence, to 50 to life. That's a classic. <laughs> 50, Everybody gets hit with that 50. one. <laughs> yeah. They got one of the, there's like three options. You got no jail time, 50 to life, or death sentence. Kyle, okay, got it. What's the guy's defense? They didn't read me my Miranda rights. That's his defense. Because the guy had none. He literally murdered my friend for no fucking reason. He's that low of a person on the food chain. That low of a person in just the levels of life. You've got, you know, the people up here. Oh, this, oh, this is a classic. All right, here's the levels of life, okay? The levels of life broken down by Phil Burnell. Here up we go. here who are like really nice people. They help people. Then you've got... Uh -huh. Okay, so you think really DSP nice puts himself on that list? <laughs> oh, I mean, he definitely, he helps so many people. <laughs> the emails he gets... All right, so here we go. So he got the really nice people. That's level one. All right, here we go. Normal What's next? People. Then you've got people who just look out for themselves. People that only right. look out for themselves. All right, then that's next. Then you've got, you know, people who are, who are barely functional. Ba barely people functional who are barely styles. Functional. Got Wheelchair it. individuals. Uh, yes. Mouth. They're well, on there, as Phil sure. would say, mouth, mouth drollers. drollers. Next. Then you've got the people who are in the hospital that are vegetables. Okay, we wheelchairs in the before that are vegetables. vegetables. Got it, got it. I'm keeping track. I'm writing this down. I'm writing this down. Notice is how he puts them at a lower level, right? They're vegetables. They're at a lower level. So right. you cannot be, according to this, you cannot be a good person if you are a vegetable. Because they're all, not... They're, all vegetables they're going away. to hell. That's yeah, just the way it works, four man. Levels Sorry. Away. Holy shit, man. You could be a good I don't person. Make the rules. Or a vegetable. You can't be both, so, <laughs> holy shit. If you're a vegetable, get fucked, dude. Damn. Then you've got the animals, then you've... Animals? So you're just above animal if you're a vegetable. Just above an just animal enough. and vegetable. Yeah. You've got, <laughs> yeah. you know, the subhuman levels of life. Shout out sub all my subhumans. <laughs> my mitochondria. Mitochondria? Then you've got, you know, the subhuman levels of life. You've got the micro <laughs> mitochondria. You've got pond uh -huh. scum. And then you've got him. Pond scum, then you've got him. The guy that will literally murder you for fucking nothing. Okay? Yes. Oh, he look has how no hard defense. this guy is. His defense is, they didn't read me my Miranda rights. Thank God. Thank God that there is at least some justice in the justice system. Even though they didn't read him his Miranda rights, which, yes, people can actually get off for it. Get off and not get yeah. charged or go to jail. Okay? 
he went to jail and here's why he got convicted of murder yeah, 50 years murder? to life oh, ended that is up a 50 getting years really to convicted life. of a 50 year sentence uh-huh. why didn't the Miranda rights come into play because they had so much evidence against the guy there was no way there could have been a shadow of a doubt that's what they're basically saying okay so Okay, this is not <laughs> Miranda rights don't affect something happening here, right? Like if if I there's videotape, I believe. Now this is again, if there's videotape of me, let's say stealing the Mona Lisa, right? Uh, there's videotape of me doing it. Oh, ALT, but they you're don't a read me my Miranda. If I and I don't read me my Miranda rights, I still think that you can keep it. I can. Yeah, there's something, there's something to that, right? I mean, I'm not a, I'm not an expert at this, but I think Phil is very much just reading this shit and just making his own reasons. It's like the evidence you say after not getting your Miranda rights doesn't count, right? Right? So I, 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 I don't know. I, Who knows? I, I, well, I just any know what Phil is saying give? is not true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's pretty much bog standard for so look, any sort of DSP. Random rights or. Your face up six years. No Miranda mention of Miranda rights in the news article. No, so here, here I found one there. This is the one Phil is reading, by the way. I think he's reading this because uh, this is in the State versus Thurgood. Uh, this was the appeal, right? So appeal was was put here, I believe. I mean, who knows? But um, the Miranda rights section is mentioned, so I can tell this is the one that Philip was reading. So it says this. Uh, the detectives held the defendant in custody and were carrying him before advising him of his Miranda rights. So they didn't read the Miranda rights before he was there. Uh, the, 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 Miranda, Miranda. the form which was admitted to evidence that the hearing bears the initials LT next to each of the five numbered Miranda warnings. Defendant's full signature appears directly at the statement waving his Miranda rights. Blah, blah, blah. See, I really don't want to read this Well, if thing, he signed the thing, he signed the thing. I mean, that's yeah, typically so, how that goes. Press testified they heard the... De- Perez testified that he heard the defendant say, Mom, I did it. I shot him and no reason. Texera, who also overheard the conversation, testified that he heard the defendant say, shot the dude for no reason. We conclude the evidence of the defendant's guilt was overwhelming. Even if the court had suppressed the defendant's written confession, the jury still would have heard the testimony of two eyewitnesses who had possibly identified the defendant. So there you go. It sounds like he's not lying you too much, right? He's not lying too much here. He read this bottom part and got the thing. Consequently, any error I don't know. by the court in denying the defense motion to suppress the confession was harmless beyond a reasonable doubt. All right, there we go. But still, but that just goes against what he said horrible. earlier. Yeah, because yes. he opens up with, this is going to matter. And then he gets to the end and it's like, it didn't matter because he went to jail anyway. Like, what were we doing here? Yeah. Just there was no our time. way that there could have been a shadow of a doubt. That's what they're basically saying. Okay, so you didn't read yes. his Miranda rights and he confessed. If even we, if we take away his confession and say he never confessed, both of his friends said he did it. His piss was at the scene. The bullets matched the gun. The DNA's and fingerprints on the gun. There is no defense for this guy, zero. So regardless that he confessed, it didn't matter. It didn't matter uh-huh. that they didn't read him his Miranda rights. He went to jail. Get this. He's Uh-oh. tried to appeal twice as recently as, I think it was 2009, trying to get out of jail saying, they didn't read me my Miranda rights. What, what else does he have would waste to do? their time with this fucking guy? Really? I know, what is he, what are you You're not going to get him Miranda. off. When you There's sit in jail in prison, <laughs> that's all you have to do, dude. Like, you work out, you live day by day, and you try and get your shit appealed so you can leave. That's it. Yeah, you... I, I mean, yet no one is saying that this person is a horrible person and he deserves to be in jail. But if you're in jail, you kind of want to try to get out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, one, that's one of like four things you're allowed to do is try and leave yes. via the, the yes. legal method. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that he did it. Why would you? You know what I mean? Like, why would you even bother trying to appeal? But I guess that's our system. They're, you know, they're, oh, yeah. they're trying to be fair and balanced. Everyone gets a shot. Whatever yes. certain yep. year criteria it is, they can try to appeal. His only defense is that they didn't read him his Miranda rights. Now, by the way, <clears throat> let me say this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Say this sit first. For those of you who don't know what Miranda <laughs> rights are, because I just realized I have an international audience who may not know. In the United States of America. Yeah, what are the Miranda rights? When you're being arrested, Tell me, um, the police step step. officer who is arresting you and taking you into custody must read you a statement stating that you have certain inalienable rights that you have the ability like for example you have the right to remain silent Can I get you have the right to an attorney again? if you can't afford one an attorney will be provided <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure we gotcha. didn't 
inalienable. Okay. Stating that you have certain inalienable rights, that you have the ability, like for example, oh, yeah. you have the right to remain silent. You have the right <laughs> to attorney if you can't afford one. An attorney will be provided for you. Basically, things that are provided for <clears throat> by the law. I and if they, if they okay. bring back to you. And you confess, for example, what exactly what this guy did. Later on, he can say, "Well, my 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 submission or my confession is inadmissible because they didn't read me my Miranda rights, and I'm yeah, not smart, yeah. so I didn't know that they could use that to incriminate me." <laughs> I'm not smart. So that's I'm his not whole smart. Case, but luckily, there was enough evidence that uh, he's been put away, and he's going to serve at least another 35 years in jail for what he did. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so it seems like it all turned out. Correct in the justice system. Thanks, justice system, for seemingly yeah. Everything came that, out Millhouse. You know. Yeah, but okay, it really cool. just it, it, it when this happened. I remember. I don't remember that like few months. It was a flurry that I lost. I really I couldn't tell you what happened during those months. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you my mindset. What I could tell you is that I didn't give up. Eventually, I had the courage to eventually play Street Fighter again. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh my god! I got the cur I got the courage. I got the courage. I didn't oh give God. up. I was I was strong. I did the courage to play a video game. I'm the one. What I can tell you is that I didn't give up. Eventually, I, I had the courage you to eventually play It was FIFA. me. Free. <laughs> Big ups, Kim. Be cruel. Are you the one as well? Are you? Are you? Did you get the courage enough? Fighter King again. Be cruel. And I always Pickles. remember every fucking time that I played Street Fighter, I thought, this is for T, you know? Because oh, yeah. my God. God wanted me to go to the oh. next level, to go to the next step. He was the one who was trying oh, to yeah. motivate me. By the way, but just, just letting you know, Phil did not mention anything about the not giving him a ride part again. Yeah, we left that later. out. That part is left out until we, we, need, we needed tears later on down the road. But, to all right. leave Connecticut and go to tournaments. And eventually, not only did I start playing in and winning my local tournament scene in Connecticut, I ended up traveling. Oh, no. I went to ECC, which is the East Coast Championships. I went to B5. <laughs> I went to other oh, tournaments fault, in dude. the area. Later on, <laughs> as the games became more prevalent, like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I went to Philly. I went to Texas. Philly. I went to Chicago. <laughs> I went to California. I went to Vegas. <laughs> Just naming cities. I traveled though. everywhere playing Street Fighter. And I never I wanted have into done so much that. debt traveling, you guys, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> T would have wanted it. It was all for T. For T. <laughs> yeah, T would have loved like how said, much debt I was in. Oh, this is is this one of the figures? Like I said, he was really the Ryu. He was the one with the natural talent. Oh my he God. was the one that inspired everyone else around him. He's to the one. Better. Because <laughs> He's the one. <laughs> We got Dune Messiah. It just confirms T actually T DSP actually shot T and framed the other guy. Oh, Dune Messiah, come on, this is serious. Allegedly, allegedly, because of, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Of his drive because of just his spirit, the smile on his face when he came back from these events was amazing. Okay, <clears throat> and now without further ado, what I'd like to do is shoot over to a different thing here and show you some pictures of T at the Midwest Championships that he attended that one year. Because these are that's actually where these pictures are from. These are from the very first time that Telrance attended the Midwest Championship. This is, by the way, from the one that Howard uh, had an issue with the monetization of. This is the one. Uh, Golden Triangle uploaded this because Philip took it down because everyone had a problem with it, I believe. You know, everyone said, like, why are you making money off T? Mm. And uh, this had to be re-uploaded. Uh, in 19, I, I believe it was 1998. I'm not positive Definitely. 100% on that <clears throat> so obviously let's see if it's still up though let me, hold on let me see it might be in it maybe it is still up let's see oh yeah it is it's still up so no he didn't take this one down hey. there we go where do you hear this still up do you hear, oh, this? No, I hear this again you have the right to attorney <laughs> oh, another God. 35 years happened during those months YouTube lost track from dude. Connecticut who became a legend because he was friends with pretty much all the top groupings in the Street Fighter community. There he is. There's T, and standing right directly to the left of him, his name is Scott Hovenissian. Scott was a hell of a character, man. He's still around, but, I mean, he's <laughs> semi-retired. He doesn't really his care about Street Fighter too. anymore. Don't you worry about that. Uh, yep, yep. Of all yep. the people, you know, who were affected by T's loss, he was affected as one of the hardest because he was kind of like the mentor to T. He saw T's natural talent.
He was affected one of the hardest. Alan, he was the one who traveled. He's the Let one. Traveled He's with the him one. to the Midwest Championships. <laughs> okay. okay. And so Sorry about that. Scott was kind of the, what do you call it? The barrier, the bridge between us bridge. and the competitive Street Fighter community. He was very good friends. Both barrier and bridge. That's hard to do. With but, Jason right. Wilson. with mm -hmm. uh, He knew Seth Killian. He knew all the top dudes in Street Fighter who ran tournaments. And okay. cool. although Scott was never amazingly good on a competitive level, he's one of the funniest fucking guys Scott you'll sucked, ever meet. I've already told the story <laughs> about the East Coast Championships that I went with, to with him. And he was staying in our room. And basically he was like, Making fun of me because I told everyone to be quiet because I wanted to go to sleep, and everyone and he was like, eh, "Yeah, yeah, be quiet. I want to go to sleep." And then, we oh my god, well that's good lore. Wow. F people at a fighting game tournament want to have fun, and Phil say, "Quiet down, everybody. Shut up." <laughs> Dude, quiet. Cause I wanted to go to sleep, and everyone and he was like, "Eh, yeah, yeah, be quiet. I want to go to sleep." And then when we finally, like, everyone would laugh, and when everyone was going to sleep, he would go like. Like, he was jerking off, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, in the corner of the room. He's a fucking funny dude. And he Very is funny. the one who traveled with Tita Midwest. Exploded with so there's laughter. one picture there. Anything else? Another candid shot of T on the outside. I'm not sure where they are. This does not look like the parking lot of Nickel City, which is the arcade where the event took place. So I'm not sure where this is. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Do you know, or? This is funny. <laughs> Because the guy who gave me oh. these pictures goes, I have no recollection who the person on the left is. <laughs> he answered the oh, picture. Someone just gave a picture of T. I don't know who that guy is, man. Like, he wanted to take oh, a picture with T. I don't know who that is. So, I have no idea who this guy is. I don't even know if he still plays Street Fighter. Who knows? But there you go. Okay. Now, this talking is a cool shot. Good about our friend yet. We're here talking yeah, about some I, guy I, handed us these pictures. He didn't even know who he was. Surely we'll have some pictures of DSP and with, with T, right? They're such good friends. I, I'm going to give a few seconds here, and I'm going to ask anyone in the stream chat right now, do you recognize who that person to the left of T is? I will give I you a not. cookie if you could tell me the name of the person standing to the left of T. I'm hungry, though. So because he is <laughs> extremely cookie. well known in the Street Fighter community. Extremely anyone well known. Else? Let's see if anyone can guess. No one so far is. Oh, they got it. They got it. They got it. Ponder, aka one of the <gasps> Cannon, Cannon Brothers. Cannon Brothers. Damn That's it. A Cannon I should have guessed. Brother. I would have got shit. it. God damn it. God damn it. It That's was Ponder, too poor. Okay. I couldn't make it out. No. Yes. This is. Oh, so this is a this is legend. Bullshit. Okay. I could have got a cookie. I'm starving. Big ups. Tony Can That's Tony Cannon, the Tony brother. Oh, there they, we got go. they got it. They got it. Ponder, a.k.a. one of the Cannon Brothers, a.k.a. one of the co-owners of Shoryuken.com, and one of the... We're going to call him a bullshit? We're going to call him an asshole here? runners of EVA. Uh, we're going to call him an asshole? On how you hate the rollback, or what? We're going to talk negatively about him here, or...? So there you have it. I mean, if that's not evidence that, that, you know, those guys were around back then and they were, you know, before there was an SRK. This was before there was an SRK.com. This was before there was an EVO. Oh, uh, so it sounds like they were traveling like the country playing time, Street huh? Fighter. It was a grassroots movement. Yeah, this was before cool, EVO. They were having fun so in the community cool and they loved it. Showing of kind of a semi-empty arcade. Now, the reason that this arcade is so empty is because they were actually allowed in This arcade is semi-empty, but his, uh, his panel was <laughs> oh, no, this standing is... room only. <laughs> This is standing room only, actually. Scott was friends with Jason Wilson. Maybe he doesn't know what standing room only means. That's the, that could be. We were, you know, you were allowed to go in early as long as you helped set up the tournament, and that's why that, the ah. arcade is fairly empty. These players are probably testing the controls. Oh, definitely. Oh. And someone says, that. "Is that guy in the background picking his nose?" Do not look. I don't know. Oh God, I clicked the wrong one. Okay. So this is a, a shot of is that a joke? probably what the arcade looks like a little bit more when it was more crowded. Not quite uh, sure. Keep in mind, back then, <clears throat> it's not like today where you go to a tournament and there's a giant projection screen and there's you could watch the stream on your phone. It wasn't like that at all. You had to what? jump. No, Spaghetti Sam, these were all pictures that people submitted about 
uh, tea for Phil to share during this uh, heartfelt. Uh... And by the way, this was all people did this on disc on Twitter, like just reached out to Phil and said, I have some pictures. Do you want them? Basically, if memory serves, I want to make sure of that, though, as we watch. Oh, keep watching. Crawl which, over which if, people, look over if he is shoulder. friends with him like that, like big ops, like that's that's cool to do. But yeah, I, but just wouldn't you have some pictures yourself? I'm, I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? It's it's just it's all very. I, I'm 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 uh, I'm not like that. I I don't take pictures of my friends. So I I can't say anything on this. But other people might though, right? You would you would find yourself in one. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know. You might sneak yourself into one of them. But I don't know. Jay Wooster says if if Phil wasn't an asshole, he might have had friends. Oh well, that's the hard part. You got to not be an asshole, right? Stand on yeah, chairs that is, to see this that's little the part that a lot of people fail at. So what was going on in a game? <laughs> so it was extremely crowded in these arcades it was such a different in a room only <laughs> and uh you know how things have changed so all right what else do we got like like this too like look at this okay oh my god oh my god this is so fucking annoying all right so look at this oh i don't know why the dog's there. okay all i'm right. looking um this is a tweet hey um, shout out the dog though it's it's right above it's right above this. It says, Dear FGC, pay homage to people that taught you. Even if you surpass them, never forget them. That is all. Philip, of course, has to respond to this. T Carter was the best fighting game player I've ever faced. It was the Ryu to my Ken. Scott H got us both in the competitive scene in the Ugh. late nineties, and we probably would have never felt our local look scene if not for him. Both would have never left both left the planet far too soon. Rip World Warriors. I mean, all right. I don't, I don't know. It just feels weird. I get, I'd hate this guy's yeah. topic. Get in the comment. It, just, it's just weird. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. Because if it was anybody but DSP, it would almost be heartfelt. But the fact that it is DSP and you know he's always got an angle, you can't help but feel that it's a little slimy. There's a little slime anyway, involved it, for some reason. It, it, when it should it, just it genuinely the, the, be a yeah. heartfelt tribute to people that meant something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why it's tough to... You can't just... You can't feel bad for DSP because you know how much of an asshole he is, but, you know. See, you know, I like What's this shot because this? this basically gives you an idea of what it was like to play on arcade cabinets. You'd I'm be not there again, directly next but... to your opponent. A lot of the times, it was a cramped area. Sometimes you'd oh have God, a chair. Sometimes you would Super cramped. No, As you no can breathing see, there's room. actually a stool <laughs> behind one of the players here who probably thought some, some players were comfortable sitting in the chairs. Others weren't, depending on your height. And uh, I guess these guys are opting to stand up. And you basically all stand in a row <laughs> alongside each other. I playing. guess. <laughs> Do you know anything about this picture? Or uh, apparently these guys are choosing to stand shoulder up. Shoulder to shoulder. And then, like I said, a lot of oh. the times when the arcade got more crowded, you'd have people looking around the sides, looking over your shoulder, trying to see what was going on in the match. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, what are we just bumping? Okay, here we go. This yeah, is I, cool didn't, I didn't know where that was coming this is from. Chicago <laughs> O'Hare Airport. Weird. It's not us bumping the mics. It's all him. Apparently, when they went to meet up with T when he flew in, they went and picked him up from the airport. And this is him walking in at the airport, which is pretty neat. Again, Philip has never seen so this picture before. Airport 15 years ago, you know, before the, the the day of the full body cavity search and the extremely intrusive radioactive scanning, before 9-11. Radioactive oh. scanning. Okay. When you could actually walk through the airport and not have to fear for your life. Would you? Okay. Uh, okay. That's fine. Yep, yep, yep. Never been yep, through an airport, so but I don't imagine people another fear shot. for their life while they're going. You fear for your life, dude. Radioactive. Yes, yeah, radioactive. The players all lined up playing each other. I'll continue Actually, to never get on the flight. I'm gonna walk Thank up you. to my PC <laughs> and see if I recognize any of these players. Oh, let me see. I recognize. He said he's gonna get up. I was saying he just he's on the other up. side of the room. <laughs> to get up he has to get up to see if he knows anybody in this picture he has to physically get up he's talking to us from across well, unfortunately, the room i do recognize one of the players but he's a scumbag and he was a thief oh, what was his name? One, of the one of the players here is a, is a notorious thief who used to go to tournaments and steal people's shit and people didn't name, know it please? until about 2004 when he was permanently name, banned please? from every tournament ever and name <clears> drop name drop 
What's his name? So name, please. Name him, he does not deserve oh, it. Oh, God, you fucker. Uh, continue on. Wouldn't that be... We By could, the way, he was later okay. arrested for credit card fraud. Hey, that's what's ah, up, tubes. Ah, Real kings yeah, get arrested would, for tax evasion and credit card fraud. You would avoid credit card fraud, just get bankrupt, though. Here so we've got win, T though, playing Philip. Street Fighter You're 3. In. This is the larger style cabinet. It's not like the standard ah. stand-up cabinets that you saw earlier. This was the... They called this the marquee because it was kind of like, you know, a, a cabinet that was more prominently displayed. It was easier for more people to watch. This was the kind of cabinet you would want to hold your tournament finals on because it's a bigger screen and more people can see the action, okay? Oh, definitely. <clears throat> All right. Looks pretty robust, dude. Only a couple more left here. So this is a cool group shot. Hold on, let me see if I can tell you who these people are because I do recognize a let few of them. Let me get up. All right, so first of all, obviously you guys see T. To the right of T, that person sitting next <laughs> to him, the white guy with the white tea. baseball cap. I mean, how could you miss him? <laughs> yeah, how could, that's kind of... <laughs> uh, let's see. So I think he is talking about Arturo Sanchez, by the way. Uh, Arturo Sanchez uh, was, did scam people out of money and was taken to court for that. Uh, I'm not seeing any information about the credit card fraud. But yes, Arturo Sanchez was... Uh, did get, get, get arrested. Or did get... Uh, he did get uh, sued, at least. So maybe that's who he's talking about. Uh, but anyways, let's go. Because I do recognize a few of them. All right. Oh, that was more recent? Okay. So maybe that wasn't it then. Oh, yeah, this is 2024. Yeah, good not that. Anyway, so who Damn, knows who Arturo it is? Maybe it's not Arturo Sanchez. Yes. Damn. He, is, he, he, did, yeah, he did get sued for OE. He owed someone. Arturo had to pay back the money he scammed DM Minion out of. But anyways. All right, so okay. first of all. Our, our, our turn didn't get shady to the last couple of years. Okay, so Arturo Sanchez has got more modern style shady dealings. But anyways, let's hear this, people. Obviously, we know T is, okay? So you know T, obviously. Only a couple more left here. So this is a cool group shot. Hold on. Let me see if I can tell you who these people are. Uh, Wesley H says, wait, but last year, Phil said he was friends with Arturo Sanchez. <laughs> well, now, Philip, <laughs> now he's friends with Arturo Sanchez. Just the right time. Yeah, because yeah, Arturo was the one <laughs> so, that was telling him about the fight OS or whatever, wasn't he? That yes, was him. So, real friend. Yes, very good friend. All right. We're not getting. Load the heat. Okay. Don't want to get too deep into Arturo Sanchez lore here. But Arturo <laughs> Sanchez was released from Team Spooky. Uh, Arturo will be banned and definitely from East Coast Throwdown events. So Arturo Sanchez has some. Some, some, t some, some questionable behavior from Arturo Sanchez in the last few years. That's all I'm going to say. That's he's all got some demons are. in his corner, too. That's what's yes, up. Yes, that's all I'm saying. I don't, who knows? The, I'm not getting into the details. I do recognize a few of them. All right, so first of all, obviously you guys see T. Oh, to the obviously. right of T, that person sitting next to him, the white guy with the white baseball cap, his name is Bill Gold. He is Shout a Honda Gold. player Everybody loves Bill Gold. in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. He has always been a Honda player, and he always will be a Honda player. He has played the game oh, really? adamantly since the day it was released. He still plays it to this day. He still travels to tournaments such as uh, 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 all the ones in Philly. Uh, I forget <laughs> what the Winter Brawl. <laughs> he goes to all the tournaments, uh, Bob, Bob, the ones in Philly. In Philly? Uh, 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 all the ones in Philly. Starting to think maybe he just uh, lives near Winter... Philly, so he just shows uh, up. Like I don't watch. I mean, how much does this person actually know? And the NEC, he still travels to those tournaments and still regularly enters them. Um, okay. Let's see here. Who's next? If you go three spots to the right, one, two, three. The guy on the furthest okay, right. Thanks for counting. That's Jason Wilson <laughs> from 1998. And if you know Jason Wilson from today, he pretty much looks the same, except that he looks a lot younger right. there. He looks like a kid. Now he looks like a man, but he has the same hairdo and everything today that <laughs> wow. he has. Wow. Now he looks like a man. He is, uh, yep, his his name is Dream TR. And uh, yes, that's he looks like a man now, apparently. But big up. And of course, Jason that's Wilson. Scott. What a, what a descriptor, man. Behind Jason Wilson <laughs> <clears throat> posing. And then the final posing. picture is kind of neat, too. Hold on. I hate this this mic smacking. It's it's kind uh -huh. of awful. what the fuck are we doing to that fucking mic? This is mic? awesome because here you're gonna see. Like I know I hit oh, mine I every once in a while. 
I see a cannon, brother. Bottom right here. Oh, yeah. One yep. cannon. Bottom right. Yep. <laughs> now, it might be harder for you to find uh, T in this one. There's a few options. So hang on. I'll point them out to you. It's not as obvious <laughs> as the other shot. A cacophony of players who showed up for Midwest Championships. A cacophony. <laughs> cacophony. <laughs> including, if you actually take a look. Hold on a second. got to find them here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. i got to literally walk towards the screen. All right. So if you see where T is. You see that guy that's standing in front of T, who's kind of blocking T's face? If you look a little close at the guy's face, he's kind of giving like a snooty look. You know what I mean? Shout out Snoot. <laughs> Shout out Snood. <laughs> Shout out Snood. That's, where, that's Snood, actually. Oh, big ups. We found Snood. Face found reveal Snood. Snood. Sorry, brother. I mean, yeah, like, cool. It's kind of like, eh. Didn't mean he to dox you or anything. It's the way it goes, man. Around him. Oh, has the air of arrogance around him. This is a picture, sir. Holy shit. It has the air you know of what I arrogance. Mean? Like it's kind of like, eh. He kind of has an air of arrogance around him. That's David Serlin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's getting his own ack, ack, ack. Uh, ack, ack. No surprise he looks like that. He looks like that in every photo he's ever been taken in because that's his personality. <laughs> oh. Yes, David Serlin is in this goddamn picture. Okay. Also, we've got, uh, obviously you see... David Serlin, Deep Lord Dive, ga currently a game designer. Uh... I wrote play currently working on Yomi too. Okay, well there we go. Hey, working on stuff. We're David doing Serling something. Is a game to, and he's not begging anybody, I don't think. So big ups, dude. Well, David Serling. Beat the guy out then. Uh huh. David Serling is still rocking and rolling on Twitter. Big ups, David Serling. There, game designer. I wrote playing to win and created the Fantasy Strike World. You are Ooh. not a e you are not an e beggar, so you win, sir. And still likes yeah, fighting the best games. Thing Go ahead. Best thing is, <laughs> I, I would say the be the best thing you could be is not an e beggar. So, oh, he has a company, Serlin Games. Big ups, dude, Serlin Games. So, and just had this game release. Let's chill. I want to chill, Dave Serlin. Yeah, what do we got, dude? A fighting game in card form. Oh, we love this. We love this. I'm in. I'm in. Where can I pre order? Can't catch me. Well, how many gems I, can I? I want to do this. Yes, I'm in. Here, my credit card jam. information is one five six. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Look at this. He's the guy behind Street Fighter Two Turbo HD Remix. Oh, cool. Oh, of course, Phil. Of course, Philip doesn't like him. <laughs> He's a successful man. All right. Anyways, I'm chilling enough. But Serlin Games, go buy it. I will. Serlin Games, if you okay. want to sponsor. Uh, yep. Message yes. Ingrid. Oh, God, I would love it. Stop I would love it. Stop standing next to T. <laughs> I believe right down there in the front. Is that Ponder? Or yes, is that it, I brother? think so. It could be one of them. I think down in the I, front. I can't tell the two apart, but be, uh, it's one of them for uh, sure. Ponder's brother, who's his twin brother. Because I think they were wearing different clothing. And I think that Ponder was wearing glasses at the time. So I think that may be his <laughs> twin brother. I'm not positive though. Don't don't get me wrong on that. So it's one of the okay, cannons don't get him wrong. up front there. Not sure. Are we gonna tell much we hate them, or um, do we hate them yet, or not yet? People are saying you don't, don't, hate you them don't know who, who David Serlin is. Well, you guys must not have been longtime viewers of mine because we used to talk about him quite a lot. You guys <laughs> are fake fans. He was the person so you don't know who David for is. Super Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. Oh, hey, we, we Lord, covered that. Might have a f and, uh, future lore drop here. Uh, basically, the person who single-handedly oh, killed Bert. console Super Street Fighter 2 Terrible. Ah. With the changes God. that he put into the game. Let David me see if there's anyone Sterling. else. I don't <laughs> People are making fun I of don't some want, guy. Don't, don't want to make this a David Sterling stream, but I do feel like I have to sh show a little bit of lore there. So David Sterling, excuse me. I'm sure he didn't do the next. Designer, producer, I know David Sterling. I'm sure he didn't do the net code. Let's see here. <laughs> I know David Serling. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't do the net code. Yeah, I know David Serling. I'm sure he didn't do the net code. Let's see here. Senior leaders, senior engineers, engineers. Okay, what, what, what are we doing here? I don't even know why we're looking this deep at the credits. Like, he did this just I so that he could flex on Serlin? Trying to find people he knows? 
you know? It seems like a very Maybe. strange thing to want to do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah, why would he do that? Just to shit on him, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, but like, if it, just why be that toxic for like no it's reason? Oh just my god, this looks. <laughs> And this is one that said a lot, is that David Serlin, who was the primary developer of this game, was a pretentious douchebag who didn't listen to anyone when he was making the game. And he just made whatever changes he wanted, and his changes were crazy changes, and people just don't like David Serlin, and that's why people stop playing HDR, all right? Bullshit, all right? Even if it's true, oh. even if there are people who don't like him, <laughs> even if he really is a jerk, which I don't know. I don't know really what happened during the course of the development of the game. That doesn't matter. Okay? The bottom line is if a game is worthy of being hey. played, people are going to play it and no one's going to care who made the game because you're too busy fucking playing the game and enjoying it. I'm sure there's been ah. games before that the, the, the people who made the game were real jerks, but we love the game yeah. and we don't give a fuck about it, you know? So, if anything, the only people who... Looks like he keeps looking at the paper like he wrote a, his a answer on there or something. The Holy shit. All right, we got some epic lore drops here. Frog Machine coming in hot here. All right, so Thank you. Sir, David Serling wrote an article about fighting game scrubs. Oh. So uh, here's the link in chat if you want to read it yourself. Obviously, we can't read it all here. But a common call of the scrub is to cry that the kind of play in which one tries to win at all costs is boring or not fun. Oh, 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 oh. we've heard that one a lot, haven't we? People that play like do the strategies that are the best are boring, right? And like that's not fun. It's not fun. Why do we want to do that? It's not fun. Who knows what the what? Who knows what objective the scrub has? But we know his objective is not truly to win. Yours is. Your objective is good and right and true, and let no one tell you otherwise. You have the power to dispatch those who would tell you otherwise. Anyway, simply beat them. <laughs> that was a good one. God, this is a pretty deep article, dude. I love this. Very robust. Introducing the scrub. This. Not everyone begins as a poor player. It takes time to learn a game to get to a point where you know what you're doing. This is a mistaken notion, though. There is the mistaken notion, though, that by merely continuing to play or learn the game, one can become a top player. In reality, the scrub has many more mental obstacles to overcome than anything actually going on during the game. The scrub has lost the game even before it starts. He's lost the game even before deciding which game to play. His problem? He does not play to win. The scrub would take great issue with this statement, for he usually believes that he is playing to win, but he is bound up by an intricate construct of fictitious rules that prevents him from ever truly competing. Oh, oh my this God. Is good. These made-up rules vary from game to game, of course, but their character remains constant. Let's take a fighting game in which I've, I've made my gaming career, Street Fighter. Street Fighter the Scrubs label a wide variety of tactics and situations cheap. <laughs> oh my, dude, the way this, this is so this accurate is to today. Oh my god, this is awesome. This cheapness is truly the mantra of the Scrub. Performing a throw on someone is often called cheap. A throw is a special kind of move that grabs an opponent and damages him, even when the opponent is defending against all their kinds of attacks. The entire purpose of the throw is to be able to damage an opponent who sits and blocks and doesn't attack. As far as the game is concerned, throwing is an integral part of the design. It's meant to be there. Yet the scrub has constructed his own set of principles in his mind that state he should be totally impervious to all attacks while blocking. The scrub thinks of blocking as a kind of magic shield that will protect him indefinitely. Why? Exploring the reasoning is futile, since the notion is ridiculous from the start. Amazing. This definitely follows this DSP thing, but... <laughs> today, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put the link in chat if you guys want to read that again. But that is awesome. Maybe that's the future dive there. Uh, but would you like to see Sir Serlin playing DSP in a fighting game? Because we got that, too. Thanks to oh, Frog I would Machine. Love it. Big ups. <laughs> Frog Machine, big ups. You're in the trenches right, so deep. It's a 10-minute video, so we're not going to watch 10 minutes of fighting game. But we'll go. There's a loser's bracket here. David Sterling versus Phil over now. We're going to go to the last two minutes. Oh. Okay, once again, guys, now, this is standing room only. Take a good look. This, yeah, this is standing room. room. We have to squeeze in. Yeah. Right, know, See people actually squeezing right to get where they want to go? Two words. Oh, there he is. Two words. Shirt and hat tied it together. Two words. Suck it. Hell Suck yeah. Suck it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a San Diego Comic-Con Evo, says Jaha. Big ups. Here we go. 2007, Evo West. So this is uh, 
the Evo West would lead me to believe it's like not the main Evo, but something to get there. Uh, let's go to the last two minutes here or so and see. Uh, let's, let's go here. Let's go play, let's see. Oh, I believe I saw cannons in it. A few people here. That was a. I believe I saw a cannon. There's one. Is that a cannon? One, I can't tell. I thought that was a cannon on the bottom. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I thought wizard. I saw both of them. Okay, yeah, that was a cannon. There, we did see cannons and wizard. Tony Cannon, big ups. There's the guy that puts all the videos up. Jay sent Jay, Jay, uh, Seth Killian right there in the main screen. Seth Killian is the one on screen now. Uh, let's keep going here. Keep the uh, Comic Con officials here happy. I don't want to pull the plug on our all power. Right. Right? Are they kind of in between matches here? What's going on? Let's see. Just talking on his iPhone. Perhaps a little last minute coaching. <laughs> oh, was that was that Sir Choi? I'm not sure. It looked like Choi to me, but I didn't know if Sir I was uh, being ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could be Rotendo Coaching. there? Okay, so has given us the names here. Cole. Well wishers. Yeah, that is oh, Choi. Choi. Let's go. Choi. Okay, yeah. okay, let's go. All right, the game is already over, it looks like. Oh. It looks like the match is already over. Let's go to another plane. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, powers very quickly with the uptick. Oh, the guy said, no, you will not be throwing me today, Disney. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh, get fucked! <laughs> yeah, Phillips DJ. DJ. There we go. Come on, Philip. Come on, Philip. Come on, Phillip. Come on, Phillip. Come on, Phillip. Come on. You got it. You got it. Punch your kick. Come on. Punch, kick, block. Do your little thing. Can't blame it on that code, dude. You cannot blame the net code, bitch. Come on. Oh, God. Cannon Brothers. This is they super. chose the wrong input Damn. on that one. Oh, 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 oh. I dropped his input, Get stupid. That ass. <laughs> Look how happy everyone is. Jubilation from everywhere. <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave Serling with that. Look at that air of confidence. Assholeness. Fucking Serling. Dumb spot. Air gets through the through the Alex. roof. Look at him. Oh, shout out to Afro Legends. He's a regular member of the Den Sea Scrolls uh, comments. It's Afro Wolf. Legends against Wolf. All right, all right. Enough of this. Big ups, Frog Machine, for that. All from this one picture of Dave a long Serling. neck. You guys are messed up, man. <laughs> what? People are making fun of some guy for having a long neck. He does. Oh, though. I just the there. It he does. Yeah, he's, he does that have a very quite, long neck. Quite the. Quite the uh, the, the you guys are there. messed up, man. <laughs> Graph style, that's what's oh, up, dude. Bill Gold, obviously, all the way on the right, uh, like one one or two to the left there. There's Bill Gold, and uh, it's hard to recognize. I mean, keep in mind, these photos are incredibly blurry. This is old, you know, film <laughs> camera. Is it? Is it incredibly blurry? I it seems pictures, pretty clear. Not digital seems, yeah, pictures, seems, pictures. seems pretty clear. I can make out people. Yeah. I, I don't even know these people. I, mean, I can tell that there's yeah. some people here. I can kind of see people in the... clean up or anything. So that's about it. All right. So. Oh, big ups. Rod, Rob Ingram in the house. That is it. Ingram in the house. DSP is not in any of these pictures somehow. So. I thought that was strange. He's got all these pictures of T and he's not in any of them. And he's not even in the big no. group shots. No, he's not in pretty much any of these pictures somehow. For the pictures. And what but, I would like to do is I'm going to upload those uh, at you know, some point uh, this week. i got to figure out what's the best place. Because you know what happens. If you, if you upload them to a certain place and you tag them, then they can go on Google yeah. Images and anyone who searches. Like, I want people who search for T or Tell Rince Carter to be able to bring up those pictures of him. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, and, definitely. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so I'm hoping that people can give me some suggestions. <laughs> do sure that. I, those <laughs> I don't know how to upload pictures to pictures. the internet. So oh. that when people search for I him, didn't know how to download them the other day either, so it's really just, it's on brand. I don't know. 
let me know. You know, I don't know. I don't use this. I don't use all the social media shit. I don't know, understand it too much. I need to figure out how to uh, use it. So, <clears throat> boomer style. So, I don't uh, understand how technology works, you guys. So that's that. That's the story. And uh, okay, you know, again, the person who really inspired me to have a competitive nature, the person who said, stop just playing the local competition. There's a bigger picture. That's what you should strive to be. The competition is fun. Again, like the competitive fighting spirit, like Ryu and Ken, where you always want to oh, be God. one step better. You want to take on the next challenger. You don't want to be stagnant and only just sit there and do the yes. same thing over and over and over. And T is the person who inspired me to, to, to push myself in life, okay. really, in a lot of things, yes. you know? And, uh, you know, I never forgot him. And it's, it's, you know, I never forget. God rest his soul. I love you, T. You know, it's been 15 years. And uh, I never would have told you back then that my life would have been where I am now. I would have no fucking foresight whatsoever that I would have told you in 15 years' time, oh, I'm going to make a living playing video games. Right? Let me make this right? about me now. I'm okay. going to enjoy what I'm doing. <laughs> I, will, I will have traveled the country. I will have gotten, for, you know, fourth place at EVO. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Wait, what? What do you think about that, Sir Ja? Sir, Sir, Sir not Sir Ja, <laughs> Sir Wong. What do you think about fourth that? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, There's three sorry Japanese that. above me, so technically I was the best U.S. player that year. Oh my oh, God! <laughs> I thought I thought that was just to get. Oh my God! What? I thought that was just to get a Raz people. You said that it was we just to razz people. You to get the people angry with you. I know. I didn't really mean that. I was first in the U.S. You asshole. I didn't mean that. I was just saying that to get a rise out of people, and he still brings it up legitimately. The country. <laughs> I will have gotten, for, you know, fourth place at Evo. Oh, uh, you know, uh -huh. nationals with only three Japanese above me. So technically, I was the best U.S. player that year. I've oh. never fucking seen any of that stuff back then because back then it was just small picture and T was the person okay. who pushed me to see the big picture and to strive oh. for the big picture and in a oh. lot of ways he, he's the person who, who I hold responsible for me being successful in a lot of things instead of just being complacent okay. and being happy to just sit here and do the status quo he was the guy that's oh so if you don't put that on him please do not put that on him I don't want him to be so slandered by saying he gave he gave he's responsible for your work ethic. Don't put that on him. <laughs> he doesn't deserve that. T there is to be blame for worse. the DSP legacy, dude. Yes. Don't put that on him, please. Don't put that on him. He has not earned I, that. I promise see you that. that. There's more than that, and that you can strive to live your life in a way outside of just the normal status quo. Not that there's anything wrong with the status quo, but. I thought you said the status quo. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, this one had to cut. oh god! You pissed him off enough times, he had to come Get out again. Back. Well, he just said <laughs> nothing was wrong with the status quo, but last wow. I knew, it was not the way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the, the way to go. Status quo. Not that there's anything wrong with the status quo, but wow, what a ride it's been, right? So, so at this point. You know, this chapter of my life, I finally feel happy that I was able to, you know, talk about it and get it off my chest because I've held this uh -oh. in for so long and I really haven't talked about it. And uh, okay. thank you. Thank you for listening and thank <laughs> you for, for letting me do it. Um, you know, I'm moving on with my life to bigger and better things. I'm moving out of Connecticut shortly. To, uh, to the Seattle area of Washington. And I know uh -huh. I'm choking up a little bit here, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm moving out of Connecticut and uh, it's <laughs> I'm choking time. Up. This is uh... the time to be reminiscing on things like this. And I'm so glad that you guys gave me the opportunity to share that story with you. Definitely. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weight. It's a weight oh. off my shoulders. It really is. <sighs> All right. So as I tear up like a little nice baby. Pause. <laughs> Cheer up like a little baby. He always has to say that. He doesn't think being emotional is something that like you should do as an adult. Even though this would be a, a very human time to be emotional, if you really yeah, adult men aren't allowed to feelings. feel feelings. Yeah. Ah, okay, got it, got it. All right, all right. So as I tear up like a little baby. <laughs> thank you for watching Hate Live, everyone. There's obviously no time for callers this this week. I apologize. Maybe next week we'll be more back no time on track for suggestion the box. Stuff, maybe but, uh, next. Maybe you know, next I'm not week. here blubbering a, like a little uh -huh. a little wimp and.
a little uh, wimp. We'll, we'll do we it then. But uh, save your questions next week. Only we'll wimps callers. cry about their dead friends. Uh, Thanks yes. for putting up with me <laughs> for two hours. And uh, that is it. Have a good night, everyone. Whether you're watching on Twitch or on YouTube. Thank you very Quickly much. Tip. Peace what out. Tip. Have a good night. I'll see you for gameplay ALT, tomorrow. If you would click the but ads. For now, then... <laughs> okay, yes, I'll Thanks do that. a lot for that. And I'll see you later. And we can't edit this out. Couldn't do that. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Editing's hard. <laughs> could, couldn't edit that out. Let's end on a funny note because we can't end like that. I, we just can't. We got to end with a funny note. So it's only 33 seconds if you indulge me here. If you heard that, you probably smash all the speakers in your house, take your TV and fucking throw it out the window. So no one you God damn it. I cannot survive that. This part right here this is... Uh, I'll end it on that frame. All right, my friends. It's been a hell of a night. Hell of a fuck. Oh, you want the link? I'll give you the link, Ray Jasmussen. Absolutely. Please spread this around. The butthead deserves more love. I wish the butthead would return because they had some awesome shit. Uh, but anything you want to plug, please, Atlas. You make videos every day, so it's pretty easy just to say, check out your channel, right? But what else? What's going yeah, on the morning I... for you? Come on. Um, that's still low key up in the air. I want to do the react, but there's family in town, and I don't know if they're leaving on time uh -oh. or what's up with that. So we'll, we'll find out, uh -oh. but hopefully, we do the react. <laughs> All right, uh, on my end of things, there's the link to Atlas's channel, which I'm sure you know, but you know, just in case. Uh, on my end of things, tomorrow is the 100th anniversary, uh, 100th episode of that being said. Thank you all very and again, much for the engagement today. I I'm not going to spoil it, it, but I promise you, I promise you it's going to be hype. That's all I'll say. But you're all fucking legends, all right? Don't forget it. 100 likes? Big ups, guys. And we're not oh, restreaming yeah. the... If he's, is, he, is he still going, by the way? It wasn't a very good one. He I'm not... Sucked. I'm I don't not care. We're not even looking. I don't even know. Do not give... A, I don't give a shit about 40-year-old's uh, birthdays, to be honest, but... He is still You're alive. all legends. <laughs> well, go enjoy that, everybody. We'll see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.